Welcome, folks. Welcome to the Oregon Trail, which is totally Eastside Hockey Manager. Just pretend we have to go to Oregon to play hockey. Even so, you see, to really understand Eastside Hockey, you have to go west, and that's exactly how this uh, goes. So we are going to first start with Oregon Trail. Okay. Uh, let's see. We can be a carpenter, a banker, or a farmer. I think this is a little simpler than the uh, one that we played in the past. As I remember playing this when I was in elementary school, I think there was like eight or so choices. Uh, I actually did play a practice game with the banker and was able to make it through. So we're going to go a carpenter this time, so we are more likely to die. I'll put you on the ta trail. <laughs> hey, welcome, yikes. Uh, welcome, Dina and Puppy. Oh, you want to you want to be named as well? Okay, I know Rhapsody also said to uh, put them in. Are you sure you really want to be in this party? You know, you're probably gonna die of dysentery. Uh, we'll do puppy and yikes. We'll also put you in. <laughs> oh no. Uh, let's see. We should probably leave in May. Actually, I think last time I, I, when I did my practice run, I arrived in, like, November, and I was starting to worry that it's like, oh, no. Oh, so we start with half the money of the banker. Because I remember the farmer starts with, like, 400. Oh, you've died of worse. <laughs> I know. Uh, well, when I played the card game of this, like, all of us except one person died, and I died on the last draw of snake bites. It was so uh, wonderful. Uh, let's see. We're gonna get four yoke of oxen. We have 800 bucks, so we can make this work. Uh, let's see. Let's we'll start with 1200 and see how much money. Yeah, because see, that takes out a lot of our money. Yeah, that's gonna hit a huge bill. Okay, we're gonna go with 12 sets of clothes. We don't get cool clothes. We're not cool enough for that. Okay, each box is two bucks. There we go. We have like 400 bullets. Hey, welcome, Yikes. You're one of the characters on our wagon. Uh, let's see, in spare parts, we're going to need... I think three of each generally works. So that gets us most of our stuff. We're going to be... We probably need some more ammunition. Uh, there's also no real sound, much sound in this, so apologies in advance. We get 30, that's 600 bullets. See, now we have 130 bucks. <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of, it can be loud at times. Apologies. No one wants to trade with me today. That's because no one wants the good stuff. Wait, from Independence it is 102 miles to the Kansas River Crossing. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I want to change my pace. Well, actually, wait. We'll just go with the nice, leisurely pace. This is like the driving Miss Daisy of Oregon Trail. Hey, welcome, folks. <laughs> and we're all going to die on uh, this one. Yikes. But hey, welcome, Plotting. Uh, this is the Oregon Trail, the old game that you would play in, like, elementary school, at least when I was in elementary school. Uh, welcome as well, Stardust. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, that's enough uh, of that. Okay. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river is at this point. It's currently 634 feet across and 5.5 feet deep in the middle. We can attempt to ford the river, which is probably not a good idea with it being like almost six feet. Cock the wagon and float it across or take a ferry across. Let's try the ferry. Five bucks. We got like a hundred bucks. We can do this. We're made of money. We can wait the three days. And if my raft collapses, I am going to sue this ferry company, and then I will have all the money of a banker. The ferry got your party of wagon safely across. Okay, well, even so, it's 82 miles to the big blue river cross, and that's where things get intense. Oh yeah, severe thunderstorm, lose one day? Let's do this. And <laughs> we're going to pay for the ferry, we got the money! I feel like that if you're going to try and die, you need to die as close to Oregon as possible, just so that you have the entire thing where your, your characters see the promised land before death takes them. Oh, you got cake? 
Well, I hope that you're enjoying it, yikes. Jeez, <laughs> these old, old-timey game stuff. Okay, so the weather is cool, health is good, pace is steady, we got fill in rations. We should probably check our supplies. How much food have we gone through? See, we've already lost 55 pounds. We're, we're letting people eat too much. Okay, must cross the river 254 feet across, 5.6 feet deep. It's even deeper than the previous one. Okay, so we have to either cock the uh, wagon or ford the river. I think we can wait if we want to, but it's still going to probably be pretty deep. Uh, let's cock it. Let's see what we lose. This is going to tip over. You know it's going to tip over. What? <laughs> you had no trouble floating the wagon across? This was supposed to end a disaster. <laughs> Full send. <laughs> Easy, just stop eating. You're right. We got to cut the rations by 100%. You can only look at the food and think about eating. For the big blue river crossing it, it is 118 miles to Fort Kearney. Let's do this. Actually, we can hunt. Let us hunt for food. Hey, hey, hey! Get back here, deer! It's not dead. <laughs> Just gotta make sure it's truly dead. And in this game, we can only bring back 100 pounds of food no matter how much we kill things. Hey, come back here, buffalo. I have to help you go extinct. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. You're not dead yet. Oh, shoot, buffalo, come on. No, buffalo, come back here. There we go. From the animals you shot, you got 1,121 1, pounds of meat. However, you were only able to carry 100 pounds back to the wagon. I feel like we could make multiple trips here, but... You know what? All right, let's do it. Yes, it does wait the bullet, Stardust. But we have to make sure they're really dead, you know? Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. Hey, hey. Hey. Oh, shoot. There we go. Buffalo, do this. There. He's truly dead. It's kind of like a vampire. You have to make sure that you really, like, stake it in the heart. Hey, come on. Why do you have... Why do the controls have to be so obtuse oh another buffalo come on we can we have to contribute to uh, extinction and all that kind of stuff we're not very good settlers in fact we're probably going to oh yeah from the animals you shot you got 939 pounds we can only carry 100 back we are so wasteful <laughs> we continue on the trail <laughs> the weather might be hot let's see the weather is cool just like our party you are now at Fort Kearney. Would you like to look around? Yes. What? No one wants to trade. We, we got these perfectly wasted bison. Don't you want to eat those? And if we wanted to buy supplies, everything is now much more expensive. Because that's how life works. How much bullets do we have and everything? Okay, so we have plenty of food. It's time to continue. I know. <laughs> they're they're hot, just like our party. Lose trail. Lose two days. We didn't just lose the trail. We lost two days. We will never find those two days again. A thief comes during the night and steals three oxen. What? How did you? How did they fit that into their pockets? I feel like that. Whoever was on watch, you kind of dropped the ball there. Oh, we're going to have to buy more oxen now. Ox wanders off. Lose one day. See, that just ruined the oxen morale. And now we have to, we have like half of our oxen all gone. You pass a gravesite. Would you like to look closer? Of course I would. Here lies A. But what is it an a thing of? I know <laughs> my oxen. We need to like get some buffalo. We'll have them. Ah, uh... oh, jeez. <laughs> I know they know how to carry everything. Okay. No, it was a trade. They just want to steal my oxen. Okay, I do have five oxen. So that that's at least 
good enough. Fort Chimney Rocket is 86 miles to Fort Laramie. Let's do this. Unless there's some more thieves waiting to steal my oxen. Inadequate grass. Yes, I would like to look around. Maybe they have my oxen. No one ever wants to trade with me. Why? I, am I like the evil person? Okay. Oh, shoot. Ox is 30 bucks and I have 125. We're buying one ox. We're going to have to just make it with six ox. From Fort Laramie, it is 190 miles to Independence Rock. Oh my god. Theft is like bartering, but it's free. It is like the five-finger discount. Oh, broken wagon tongue. Would you like to try and repair it? Yes, I will MacGyver this with a mullet, Swiss Army knife, and some gum. You are unable to repair the broken wagon tongue. Well, I guess I, I'm not really MacGyver on this one. But that's okay, I have spare parts. And inadequate grass, very little water. Very little water. Bad water. All the water we found is bad. Very little water. Yeah, we are so screwed. See, health poor, inadequate grass. Oh, it just went back up the fair. It's because we are very hot. <laughs> we are so dead. <laughs> okay, Independence Rock. Let's do it. Ah, jeez, come on. We're gonna, uh, let's see, check our supplies. Oh god, all our food is gone. We've been eating too much. Okay, that's 102 miles to South Pass. Inadequate grass? Well, that's perfectly fine. We're going to... Now we don't have grass, too. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. No, don't come back here, buffalo. Die. <laughs> Die. Okay. 932 pounds, but we got 100 pounds. It's fine. We, gotta, we can, like, leisurely drive through here. Oh, shoot. Come back here. Buffalo. Hey, hey! There. Oh, of the animals you shot, you get 70 pounds of meat. That's okay, we can just keep hunting stuff. Hey, hey, squirrel, get back here. Oh, shoot. Hey, 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 how dare you dodge my bullets! I will just shoot wildly. And hope that things come out to be shot. Okay. Let's try this again. This time with feeling. Hey, hey. There. There you go, rabbit. It's rabbit season. Oh, come on, bison. You're not supposed to just, like, touch the edge of the trees and so forth. That's okay. I got a rabbit. I can get, like, four rabbit's feet. My luck will improve. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, hey, come back here. Nope, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> four pounds of feet. Oh, uh, shoot. These controls are very, uh, not very helpful. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, shoot. Hey, hey. You're not, you're not supposed to do this, dear. Hey, hey. There we go. Beautiful. Take that back. Let's be wasteful. How much food do we have now? We have a decent amount of food. But we need more. You need to... Hey, 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 deer. You're not supposed to run off like that. You're supposed to jump on my gun. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Come on. There's some more... There's gotta be some more animals around here. We haven't killed everything in the area. We're gonna have some, like, Undertale vibes, but nothing came. At least that's gonna be the version once we're done here. Aha! There we go. Beautiful. Continue. We have to now... <laughs> we have to make other people's... Hey, welcome, Grim. We are on the Oregon Trail. Are the weather's cool, just like our party? Health is good, as we eat all the food. South Pass, I would like to look around. Okay, that's enough of that. No one wants- no one ever wants to trade with me. Oh my goodness. Why? 
Okay, so I think I this is the part where I get to make like a uh, decision which way I go. Head for the Green River Crossing or head for Fort uh, Bridgeter. We're gonna go for the Green River. I think there's a ferry there. Hey, welcome, Gabby. Yes, this I remember playing this game in uh, elementary school. I think it was second grade. So it, it's one of those things where I have some kind of fond memories of this. There's a lot of fun of just messing around with this game. Although I think we are trying seriously for the first go. Green River Crossing. Come on, can we finally trade with someone? Oh, you meet another immigrant? Emigrant. Who wants one wagon tongue? He will trade you 87 bullets. But I've already lost one, so I, I can't do that. Let's do this. Weather is cool, just like a party. Let's do this. Okay, cross the river. The river at this point is 400 feet across and 20.1 feet deep in the middle. I feel like, yeah, we're taking the ferry. I don't feel like we should ford this river. Okay, five bucks, we could do that. I got, I still got like 90 bucks. I'm trying not to get us all killed, uh, puppy. We have to make it to Oregon. Oh, okay, yeah, we should probably do that. The ferry got your party and wagon safely across. I'm telling you, if the ferry were to uh, have our uh, wagon get like destroyed, we are suing them for everything. From Green River Crossing is 143 miles to Soda Springs. Is that where we're gonna do like grueling pace with meager rations and just like starve everyone and we're all gonna die? It's like a wagon of pestilence. Lose the trail. Lose three days. A wagon of death and pestilence, with very little water and inadequate grass. But our health is still good, and we're good spirits. But we got bad water. Would you like to take a look around? Yes, I would. All right, someone will trade with me. Oh, they do. Okay, but for two sets of clothes, we can trade one wagon tongue. I don't. I don't think I need another wagon tongue. Whatever. Let's do this. 57 miles to Fort Hall. Bad water. Puppy has a broken arm. <laughs> Puppy, no. Wait. What am, what am I food at? Oh my goodness, we have 79 pounds of food. Hunt. Shoot the bears. Come on. Come back here. Food. Aha. Oh no, I almost thought I would get the bunny. Come on, deers. Oh, shoot, a bear. Come on. Squirrel. It's like one pound of food. <laughs> Two pounds. We're eating big tonight. Oh, shoot, come on. Bear, you, you let me down like that. You're supposed to come further along. Oh. No, 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 dear, come back here. I feel like I should probably press the controls a little bit differently. Oh, come on. Why is the control so obtuse? All the animals are just taunted me. I think that was a squirrel. Okay, let's try a different approach and trying to actually set up these controls a little bit better. The thing is, I have to uh, use the number pad key for actual movement, and then as well... Oh, come on! No! I have to press enter to actually move my character. It's the, like the, the most obtuse game mechanics. How did I ever hunt back in elementary school? No. Jeez. Deer. You're making me very angry, deer. Okay, clear. Surely in this empty area over here. Hey, there we go. Beautiful. That's like, there we go. I don't even need. There. Take that bear. 256 pounds. We're making the bears go extinct. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's not really for uh like donner party kind of thing. Besides, we have to get stuck in the mountains and the cold and all that. Oh, bear, come here. 
Come here, bears. Fortunately, I would point out Organ Trail, which we'll play afterwards, is going to be much, much easier for controls. Oh, come on. Why do you do this to me, dears? Why? <laughs> you go on that side. You're supposed to come out here in this big open area where I can shoot you wildly. There we go. See? Now that's beautiful. 68 pounds. Wonderful. We now have 174. We're just gonna starve. That's okay. We can almost make it to the, uh, one of the oxen that's injured. Walk it off. You're not at Fort Hall. Would you like to look around? Yes, I would. Okay. Can we trade? He will trade you... Okay. No, no, no. I don't need, I don't need 27 pounds of food. I have, like, more. Yeah, I have 90 bucks. Probably need to buy some food. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> How much stuff do we have? We have six oxen. I feel like that if we need to, we can cannibalize one of the oxen. I'm sorry, puppy, but you're, you're like, after the oxen. But, uh, let's see. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's the wrong button. Okay, food is 40 cents a pound. Oh, that's like 100 pounds would be 40 bucks. We can probably just do ammunition and stuff. See, we still have like 500 bullets. We can we can just go on. The Snake River Cross is 182 miles away. Rhapsody has dysentery. Oh no! Oh no! It begins! Wait, oh shoot. We should probably hunt. Oh, come on. No. There we go. Take that bear. Aha! 101... I like how we just leave one pound of meat there. We don't even try to even bring it back. Oh, she's coming. There we go. Beautiful. Take that, a deer, as well. <laughs> no. Oh, Layton. Thank you for the uh, sub. There we go. Alright, we gotta get some food. If we don't get food, then we're gonna die. Lots of people will die. Come on. There we go. There, shoot that deer just for fun. We need to hunt a lot more. Oh, shoot. Come on. No, no, deer, don't do that. Don't run off the edge of the map. You're supposed to run into the barrel of the gun. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> shoot wildly. There we go. I think that gets... Yeah, see, we got 379. We actually do need to hunt a lot more. Hey, there we go. Don't you think you can run away, bear? I feel like we're kind of learning. Hey, hey, hey. It's wabbit season. Okay, well, it's squirrel season as well. Hey, hey, how do you dodge that? Okay, we at least got two pounds of food, so this, is, this isn't this is a complete bust. Make that three now. Beautiful. See, 500 pounds of food. We can now do this. I'm pretty sure Rhapsody will get rid of the dysentery. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Dina has a broken arm. No, we're all gonna die. Very little water. Find wild fruit. Oh, beautiful. Just what we needed. We find more wild fruit. But we got very little water. Broken wagon axle. Come on, MacGyver this! You are unable to repair the broken wagon axle. See, this is why we brought all the extra parts. Come on, we could do this. Snake River! Let's do this. We can cross this. Okay, one app. No, that's a terrible trade. Okay, six feet deep, a thousand feet across. And this is probably not a good one. Oh, we can hire an Indian to help. I have like 60 bucks. 
Oh, but he only they only want two sets of clothing. I will take that. The Shoshani guide will help you float your wagon across. See, they know how to do it correctly, as opposed to me. Unless they're sending me to my death. You know, just to collect all my stuff afterwards. That could actually be the uh the plan. But nope. I don't get to sue anyone this time. At least I don't think I do. 113 miles to Fort Boozy. What the? <laughs> they broke my axle, wagon axle. I am suing the wagon company at least. Wait, I was able to repair it? That's impossible. I can't MacGyver any of this. Oh, geez. Oh, wait. Uh, how much food do we have? 334? We should probably hunt. Especially before... Oh, no, no. Die, bears. Think that you're bad news, but I am the bad news, bears. Oh, dang it. I feel like the deer was shot off screen. I still got it. Oh, you can't use the edge of the screen for safety. That's illegal. Yeah, we had like a uh, duct tape. Everyone knows that duct tape was used by uh, folks in these times. To fix everything. And duct tape does fix everything. Ah, oh, this one feels like a bust. Good. I'll shoot wildly. I'll shoot wildly and oh shoot. There we go. I shoot wildly and I get some deer. Two deers. Maybe shoot some squirrels. Definitely need as. Oh! We could have had. Hey, hey, hey! There we go. Beautiful. We got rabbit feet and everything. Okay, so we have some pretty decent food, but we're still gonna. We're gonna try and get just a smidgen more. There we go. Now we can continue. Heavy fog. Lose one day. Impassable trail. Lose six days. I know. We're gonna get plenty of duct tape and Oregon Trail, though. Rough trail. How many days do we lose? Very little water. It's already September. Oh my goodness. It's a good thing we left in April. Heavy fog. Lose another day. Inadequate grass. Very little water. More inadequate grass. But there's one of our oxen. Where are we? Okay, wants three wagons. Holy crap, no, no, no. We're not giving you three wagon wheels. That's gonna be a very bad idea. We have 90 bucks still. I feel like that as much as I want to buy stuff, I should save my 90 bucks. How far are we? Okay, so we're near we're near in the end. And you know, knock on wood, we're still like alive for now. It's 160 miles to the Blue Mountains. With very little water. I get the feeling that we should probably be like having more water with us. Oh jeez. Hey, hey, hey. I forgot how the controls are like made out of like duct tape. There. We gotta hunt before we get into the mountains. Hey, hey, come back here, squirrel. <laughs> oh dear. Squirrel, you're on the menu tonight. Oh, I guess not. There we are. Beautiful. Oh, I haven't seen Among Us lately. It's been a while since I played it. I usually just do the multiplayer. Whenever we do multiplayer, that's when I next play and become aware of it. But I imagine they did something really cool for, uh... Oh, da -da -da. there we go. That they did something cool for April Fools. Aha! So nice when the deer just immediately put themselves there. Oh, oh I can actually shoot you! Aha! There we go, we got 600, approximately. Enough to survive the heavy fog. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, unless we actually put the uh, maps upside down, in which case then we're very, very much in trouble. All this heavy fog. But at least our party is cool. One of the oxen has died. Do we get to put a tombstone for it? You're now at the Blue Mountains. Would you like to look around? Yes, I would. They're very blue. Okay, who wants... He will give me an ox if I give him 200 pounds of food. Just put down your ox, man. You, you're going to be good. We're almost there. Okay, Fort Walla Walla or Dallas. We're going to go for... Uh, We're going to go there so that I don't think we need the fort because we have enough food. Okay, 125 miles. With that being said, we're going to kill more things. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. What? No. Hey, come back here, squirrel. We're going to kill something. Well, maybe not this time. There we are. I just like put that bear down. I know the oxen are just a means to an end. They're just a tool. We don't have any actual interest in our oxen besides that. Other than that thief that stole three of my oxen. Once I find him, I am totally shooting him. Hey, hey. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, no, don't. <laughs> Stupid deer, you're supposed to jump into the gun. Alright, one more and then I think we're good. Yeah, see? We have 600 pounds of food. That should be more than enough to get us there. Oh, see? One of the oxen is injured. They're just dropping like flies! No, no, yikes. You don't want to have your arm break. How else will you care for the oxen? Well, we have to help contribute, Stardust, to all the oxen going, all the buffalo going extinct. All right, let's see if we can do a trade. Ah, no, 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 no. I feel like that he's one of those bandits. He's going to give me 51 bullets in the face if I don't give him one wagon tongue. Oh, okay, we can either float down the river or take the Barlow Toll Road. We'll take the toll road. 750. Yeah. I'll pay ya. 100 miles to the valley. Yikes! There you go, yikes! You have exhaustion! One of the oxen has died. Ah, oh, jeez, we're down to like three oxen now. That's okay. We, they only need to survive another 60 miles. After that, we'll put them down. Hey, welcome, Askepa. Hopefully your day is going well. We have done it! Congratulations, you have made it to Oregon. Let's see how many points you have received. Ah, beautiful. Five people in fair health. Not even in good health, we're just fair health. That's good enough. For going as a carpenter, your points are doubled. Ah, oh, jeez. There we go. We did our practice run earlier as a banker. Now we're an adventurer. There we go. Okay, so are we doing this again with uh, folks now saying, uh, getting to pick everything? Okay, so then, are we a farmer from Illinois, a carpenter from Ohio, or a banker from Boston? I know, I'm surprised no one died. <laughs> yeah, Rhapsody just walked off dysentery. You, you, that's just how it... Oh, okay, from Ohio, but we were already a carpenter. All right, so we're a farmer this time. We are all gonna die on this one. We are all very dead. All right, when are we leaving? March, April, May, June, or July? Yeah, this one, you're supposed to kind of do this legitimate, but unfortunately we're gonna... I'm pretty sure all of you are going to tell me to ford the deepest rivers. Oh, we're leaving in March. Why are we? Why are we leaving in March? This is the worst idea. Okay, we have four hundred dollars. You're not going to be able to spend it all in one place. 
Okay. Let's see how we can do this. We need at least three yoke of oxen. Food. We're going to need to... Uh, we're not going to be able to afford much. Ah, oh, yeah, see, that's not going to fly. We're going to probably have to cut our food budget down. See, we got the ammunition, so that way we can just shoot them and then be like, all right, we are going to... Uh... Okay, so we got to ditch 130 bucks. I'd say we probably get like two each. So now we just got to ditch a hundred bucks. Oh, this is going to be hard. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to cut the food bill. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's going to cut all of our money. Okay, we're going to have to go with uh, eight clothing. Ah, uh, this might be bad. <laughs> let's do this. Hey, welcome Nancy Reads. Yeah, we're gonna have to hunt. Alright, so what are we doing now? Ooh, what's three wagon tons? You don't have this. We ride. We need a little money. How else are we gonna pay for ferries and all that? From Independence is 102 miles to the Kansas River crossing. First things first, we hunt. Hey, 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 squirrels, come back here. Here, squirrels. Oh, shoot. Rather, I didn't shoot. And that's why that didn't end well. Hey, 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 hey. There, two pounds of food. We got this. Oh, dang it. Buffalo, why, why didn't you come back out this way? Three pounds? We're living like kings. There we go. Beautiful. Three pounds of meat? We are... We're eating well tonight. Except probably not. It's like, you need 20 pounds of food to survive. Oh, come on! That was... That shouldn't have gone to the edge. That bison cheated me. Three pounds. Oh, come on. We gotta, gotta uh, kill as many buffalo as possible. We gotta contribute to the deforestation and, you know, ecological destruction and all that stuff. We're setting the trees on fire as we go. That's how the deforestation is happening. I think they're supposed to be squirrels. They could be foxes. I don't know. They, I've always thought they were squirrels. Come on, I need the buffalo so I can break the rules. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, no. There. At least we get our three pounds of food. Oh, buffalo. Hey, I don't even care about you, Squirrel. Come back here, Buffalo. I have to contribute to ecological destruction. Just like, I don't give a hoot, I pollute. Oh, we could have almost had six pounds of food. This is, uh, <laughs> oh, two pounds. It wasn't even a very good Squirrel. Come on, we, we need to get something big. Something that's not like that. Haha! -ha! There we go. I don't play by your rules, Dina. Oh, there were many buffalo harmed in the making of this. I think we have enough supplies now. Oh god, we only have 300 pounds of food? What were we doing? Did we eat it all, like, while well, during, like, the break? Out while, while I was hunting, uh, everyone just ate all the food. There we go. Like, we just had left Independence. How did we eat all the food? <laughs> Broken wagon wheel already? Oh, good. We had duct tape. Continue.
You are not the Kansas River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Yeah. I would. Okay, who wants one ox? They will give me... Oh, that's a terrible thing. Why would you give yourself one set of clothing for one ox? It seems like a bad idea. Okay, river is 620 feet across and 3.8 feet deep in the middle. What are we doing? What's the plan? Are we just going to be like, screw this, we're for the river. Do we cock the wagon and float it across? Or do we take a ferry across? This is your choice. Do you doom us all? Or do we like, uh, try to actually make it to Oregon? Do we have, like, a shallow grave that's just waiting for all of us? But yeah, if you want to make a choice, feel free to. A uh, Fordin is where we just, like, go straight through the river. We just ride. We ride, and we just, like, deal with it. <laughs> Fordin? I feel like 3.8 feet is too deep, but... Alright, we ford it. Them oxen are dead. The river is too deep to ford. You lose 242 bullets. Oh my god. <laughs> we are dead. <laughs> We've lost it all. At least we didn't lose the people. The the friends we made along the way are all the uh, stuff. Okay, 82 miles to the next river. Lose trail. Lose two days. I like to think it's living two days more before Dina and Puppy kill us. Many families never made it to Oregon. Yikes has a broken arm. <laughs> Wrong trail. Lose four days. This is just me trying to prolong our lives. You're not the big blue river crossing. Would you like to look around? Okay. And although it looks like that it's safe to ford. Oh, it's the same person. No, get it. I'm not making that trade. Okay. 225 feet across. 1.8 feet deep in the middle. I think we can safely ford this one. <laughs> well, I mean, it's still about four feet deep, uh, Nancy, so it, it's pretty bad to uh, ford that one. This one is pretty safe to ford. Unless one of us decides we want to, like, jump out and drown ourselves. It was a muddy crossing, but you did not get stuck. I can't wait until we get to the Snake River and we read that it's like 20 feet deep and then Dina's like, Ford it! <laughs> we are not making it to Oregon in this run. Oh god, we have 40... We have 40-something pounds of food. That's right, Buffalo. I feel like we should at least... There we go. I feel like we should at least try to make ourselves not starve. There we go. Ooh. No, buffalo! There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. I like how we just keep repeating. There we go. There we go. Hey, no, no, no. Buffalo, come back! There we go, my dear friend. I'm still doing it. <laughs> I can't say anything else, apparently. Ah, yes. No, no. No, there. I think we have enough supplies. At least enough to survive for a little bit longer. My dear friend, they have been uh, put down. We have like three bucks. We have $20. Oh, no. <laughs> We can't afford anything. One wagon wheel. She will trade you one wagon axle. Uh, I feel like I should because if we have that think break, we're going to be very screwed. Okay, uh, let's, let's try and move on. Before Dina gets us killed. One of the oxen is injured. Hey, that wasn't me. I'm not hunting right now. But I will be soon, because we, only, we don't have a lot of food. Yikes is lost. Lose two days. Take it, Yikes. Why, why are you getting lost? 
We only had comp- Yikes has dysentery. Oh no. Yikes. I'm sorry. It doesn't seem like you're long for this world. Pass a gravesite. Would you like to look closer? I would. Here lies A. We never found out what A thing is. Repsy has a fever. I knew that you could, like, in the version I played, you could play as a doctor, which generally meant they recovered a lot better. We're at Chimney Rock. It's not good times. Uh, yikes. Okay, well... Once what? Well, yeah, we don't have that. We have no choice. We have to continue on. Oh god, we have 53 pounds of food! No, 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 hunt. There we go. We got we got like three pounds of food now. We're good. We're trying not to kill everyone. I have Dina for that. Hey, 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 come back here. These controls are terrible. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. No, 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 come back here, buffalo. I'm not satisfied with my, uh, three animals. Nine pounds of meat. That's right. Oh, shit, jeez. When that buffalo just comes out for, like, one second, that's so annoying. It's, like, evil. Yeah. There given you basically what dysentery is. Cholera, if I remember right, is from bad water. I don't think we actually had anyone get cholera last time, so that's actually pretty swanky. Usually someone gets cholera. <laughs> we need to get food. We're starving. Well, I don't think we're starving yet, but we're getting there. Oh god, we still have under like 200 pounds of food. Yeah, I feel like that uh, the entire thing with the farmer is that you're basically going to be hunting a lot. Hey, oh no! I managed to get to the edge of the screen, just in time, right as I was shooting. I blame the poor controls. <laughs> I know, we just gotta shoot wildly. In Oregon Trail, you scavenge, so you can shoot your ammunition's more for shooting zombies. Although you're not really getting anything from them. That's right, dear. Oh, what the? Dear, you're supposed to come up to me and then get shot. Aha, buffalo. Okay, one more time for hunting. I'm pretty sure the next river is going to kill us. Wait, what was that? Why did I do diagonal? I want to blame the game, but I, I think that's myself. Ooh, no, no. <laughs> By the time the... Oh, goodness. No, no, aim that way. Beautiful. Well, the, the oxen might not be eaten well, but we are. I know that we live until the next river crossing, at which point that's when um, Dina is going to kill us. Let's do this. 190 to Independence Rock. Oh, hey, welcome, Gabriel. Sort of. I think it's been joking around to play Oregon Trail and then... Because it's been suggested, and then I was going to play Oregon Trail, which is kind of the same thing, only you're in a station wagon and you uh, try to drive to Oregon in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Which is... No, 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 no. Hey, hey. You can't outrun a bullet. It's a really fun game. There. That's a lovely spoof of... Um... It's a very lovely spoof of uh, Oregon Trail. Oh, no, no, no. The edge of the map is their best friend. Hey, what was that? Okay, I think that's enough food. 
Oh, goodness, we only have like 274 bullets. Hopefully this will last. Ox wanders off, lose three days. Oh no! Oh my goodness! A fire in the wagon results in the loss of one set of clothing. 231 bullets. Oh no, we can't shoot wildly. Okay, broken wagon tongue, would you like to try and repair it? I don't think we have a bro uh, wagon tongue. Oh, you must replace it with a spare part. Since you don't have a spare tongue, you must trade for one. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Who wants two wagon wheels? You don't have this. Oh, no, this is bad. Ah, who wants one wagon tongue? I want one wagon tongue! You you don't get to uh, also say you want one. Ah, oh, jeez, this is not good. He wants 50 pounds of wood, and he will trade me 50 bullets. I actually have enough food for that. Oh, yeah, I don't have that. I feel like I just need to put up like a yard sign or something. This is where we live now. Oh, one set of clothing for one wagon tongue. Yes. Let's do this. And then we'll hunt for food. If only we could chop. Hey, oh, goodness. Bison, you took me by surprise. If only we could do that. But alas, we're on the plains. There are no trees. At least that's the excuse I'm going with. Hey. Beautiful. Yeah, because we can make... Assuming we're not like terrible and waste shots for all 50 bullets we can make oh what was that <laughs> my aim is not very good what could i say oh geez no rabbit how can you block it oh geez this is not good But at least we got two pounds of meat. We have 76 bullets. This is not looking good. The weather's hot. Yikes says dysentery again. This is not good for you, yikes. Hopefully you actually survive. At least until Dina kills us. We found wild fruit. Wonderful. That's like 20 pounds of fruit. Okay. Who wants one wagon wheel? I will trade me an axle. No. No. Uh, let's see. 102 miles to South Pass. Bad water everywhere. Oh god, why is this wagon so flammable? Two sets of clothing, one wagon wheel, one wagon axle. <laughs> 30 pounds of food. We are so doomed. <laughs> Why do we just keep setting this wagon on fire? Oh, this is this is very bad. I want to blame this on being a farmer. If we were a banker, this would never have happened. <laughs> You're right. We don't even have enough clothes for people to wear. That's okay. You can wear the censorship bars. Oh, come on. We have to make every shot count because we have like 70 bullets. There we go. This is a very, very bad set of circumstances. I'm blaming you for this, Dina. <laughs> Just so you know. When we die before the way to Oregon, my ghost will be vengeful. You're getting a very cheap funeral. I got 20 bucks. Exactly. Bakers aren't flammable. This is, this is like a very important bit of knowledge. Oh, why, why did you have like a bison just come up at the edge of the screen, Gabe? 
the game has taunted me. You see, I feel like this is the part where we just wouldn't be able to be picky. We would need a like, go bring that bison to ye old chop shop and just like get all the meat from it. We just don't, we can't really afford to be um, being picky about things at this point. Okay, we got 245 pounds of food. Oh god, it broke again. Come on, MacGyver. Oh goodness, we had duct tape. That didn't go up in the flames. <laughs> no, it's South Pass. Would you like to go around? See, I feel like we're looking at all these successful families. We'll be like, why doesn't my wagon look like that? Okay, who wants one set of clothing? We'll trade you one wagon axle. Oh, this is a hard one. I'll do it. We have two sets of clothing, <laughs> but we have an axle. That's the important thing. Okay, the Green River crossing. All right, to the Green River. Ooh, the weather's very hot. A well, good thing that most of us are naked at this point. All right, is this where you're gonna TPK us, uh, Dina? What are we trading? Oh, we don't even have 150 bullets. I would love 150 bullets. <laughs> oh God, four 12 feet across, 21.6 feet deep in the middle. Oh, are we, uh, is this where we end, Dina? We're not just gonna take like the ferry and uh, be safe. You're just gonna make us, uh, Oh, weather, very rainy. I'm pretty sure that because Dina's made us lose all the clothing, they get to wear the duct tape. All right, so what What are we... Oh, we're not going to afford this time? Are we cocking or are we using the... Oh, wait to see... Oh, just kidding, fort. <laughs> okay, let's wait. Camp near the river for the day. Oh, it went down by 0. 0.2 feet. I'm pretty sure we could afford it now. I should point out, we also have very little food. We should probably either cock it or uh, take the ferry. If we ford this, we're all going to die. Is this our final thing where we're going to die and haunt the Green River forever? Dragging people down to a watery grave? Okay, that's the smart choice. We only need to do five bucks and wait five days. I hope that we actually have the food for five days. At least if we die, we can sue the wagon company. We have five pounds of food. Oh no. Uh, we should hunt. We got like two squirrels. Oh, 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 bear, bear. Come on. I have like 50 bullets left. That's okay. We don't need to eat food. Everyone knows that uh, food is just, you know, it's just one of the, it's a scam. Bear, bear. There you go. Oh, we have 67 bullets. This is not good. How much food do we have? We have 85 pounds. Oh, that's right. We're... Well, at least we got the deer. I feel like Dita is just trying to destroy us. Oh, no. Yeah, we can't afford to miss. There. Oh, bear, come back here. There's good eating on them. <laughs> Maybe we're vegan? I don't think we have that option at this point, uh, Nancy. Especially since, at this point, the only thing we can do is hunt. Unless we can eat those trees. Maybe find a lot of wild fruit. Okay, I think we have to just continue on. Dina has typhoid. Repsy has a snake bite. Find wild fruit! Alright, vegan options! I 
Okay, we should probably hunt. You know, I'm just I'm just uh, thinking that this is all because Dina wanted to challenge Ren. He's like, I want to see if uh, Cranky can actually do this uh, like hardcore by making him lose everything. Oh, this one's not very good. That's okay. We got a bear right there. Oh, he has a hundred pounds of meat exactly. Nice. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid bear. Okay, we have about 300 pounds, so we can continue on. All right, vegan options. This trail is uh, actually pretty good for the vegan choice. Except for the bad water and everything. Probably cholera lurking all around. No, 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 no. We got to have the nice... We're going at a casual pace, having good food and everything. See, look at us even uh, <laughs> at the nice little springs, you know, clothing optional and all that. Okay, he wants one set of clothing. He will trade you 59 bullets. All right, I'm the only person with clothes at this point. The Fort Hall puppy has exhaustion. Come on, we can do this. Even if there is inadequate grass. All right, let's hunt. No, no, no. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, bear, no. Don't do this to me, bear. I suppose this is where we do the bear puns, like it's unbearable. Nope. Nope, nope. No, bear, come back. My bear pun scared him off. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we have 105 bullets at 320 pounds of food. We can make this count. Puppy has died. Oh no, puppy. It was so abrupt. Don't worry. We have the pleasant music there. Wait, we're lowering the food rations? Why are we lowering the food rations now? Puppy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe if we had given you more clothes, you would have lived. Oh, goodness. They'll give me that trade for 50 bullets for 50 pounds of food? I will take that. I need as many bullets as possible. I have 15 bucks. This is not going to end well. I feel like I'm just gazing longingly into this shop. <laughs> We're all bare naked. You're right. The Snake River Crossing. Ah, oh, jeez. Rapsy has a fever. This is where we're going to start dropping like flies. Alright, hunt for food. We could do this. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, we got him! I can't believe we got him. <laughs> Hey, hey, no, no, no. Curse you dears. There we go. We need as much food as possible. There are 411. Oh god, it's September already. It's gonna start getting cool, and, like with everyone wearing duct tape, except me. People are going to start dying. <laughs> See his dysentery? No. <laughs> this is bad. Our health is all poor. We should probably even, like, rest. All oh, our health is still poor. This is not good. Oh, no. Oh no, if this Indian wants like two things of clothes, we're not going to be able to even to get that. Okay, who wants one wagon wheel? We don't have that. 
This is this is very unfortunate. Oh dang it! Okay, one thousand and four feet across, six point six feet deep in the middle. What are we? Uh, no, no, no. I can't really trust your judgment if you're telling us to ford the river, uh, Dina. I feel like you're gonna try and join them in death and all that. Oh, he wants three sets of clothing. But maybe he wants duct tape. Uh, I guess we have to cock it and... F no, no, we can't ford the river. That'd be fairly dumb. We'll all die if we ford the river. Our oxen will die. We gotta cock it. And hope that all of it doesn't go bad. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. It's gonna fall over. You know it's gonna fall over. Told ya. Oh, dang it, Rhapsody, no! <laughs> we lost the last bit of clothing. We're all naked now. And the last wagon, Axel and Rhapsody. R.I.P. We're all just falling apart here. The ship is sinking. No. Broken wagon tuck. We are so dead. Oh no. I don't have that. What's one wagon wheel? I don't have that. Oh goodness. How much food do we have? Who wants one set of clothing? We don't have this. Oh no. This is not good. Hey, hey. This is very bad. We are all very dead. Come back. There, there. We get some food. Because the downside is now we, uh. Hey. There. The downside is we, uh. <laughs> I don't think we're making it to Oregon. I don't know what gives me that feeling. The fact that we have a broken wagon and don't have anything worth trading for. As we're gonna slowly die. Oh, I don't even remember what we need. Okay, who wants... I don't even know if that's... Oh, that was the thing we needed. Dina has measles. Don't worry, Dina. You'll make it. You'll make it to Oregon. No! <laughs> Come on, MacGyver it! I believe. Duct tape, save me! Oh, jeez. Oh, no. This is the worst. Oh, that's not even what I need. I need a wagon wheel. Oh, they want a wagon wheel. Come on. No, I need a wagon wheel. Hey, welcome, Blaze. What? Oh, welcome, Iceberg. I hope that you uh, have a wonderful night. Oh, jeez. Come on, we we can we can make this work. Come on, give me a wagon. No, that's a terrible trade. Why would we do that? Oh, there it is. The fact that I have 27 pounds of food is just a non-issue at this point. I got bullets. Hey. Which is why I'm shooting rocks. Rocks are on the dinner menu tonight. That being said, we really do need to make sure that something actually comes up. Come on. Come on, deers. Come on, bears. We need something. Otherwise, we're going to die horribly. There we go. We're surviving just another day. All right, two pounds of meat. We're good. That squirrel is going to carry us to Oregon. Oh, oh, hey, hey, how do you dare you dodge that one? All right, beautiful. We have 200 pounds. We can do this. The fort's right, right there. <laughs> no, it's going to be very bad. 
Oh god, we still have the blue mountains. This is not ideal. Yeah, there is an uh, option to uh, trade, uh, Lewis. Unfortunately, we have nothing. Severe blizzard. Oh god, we are... This is not good. <laughs> you find an abandoned wagon. Three sets of clothing. Oh, 42 bullets. Spare wagon stuff. We can profit off of someone's death. Impassable trail lose seven days. Other than the fact that we are... We better hunt for food. There we go. We better hunt for food, or else we're gonna die. <laughs> I know, we, we might actually... We're profiting from other people's deaths. That's okay, we still have another river. Wait, I have just enough to afford the toll. So, I can actually do that and... If we actually get that far, we can win. Other than the small little fact that we have to make it through the mountains with winter basically right around the corner. Oh no, I don't want to rest at all. Wait. No! Dear, don't do this! I know, we don't have to wear the duct tape anymore. You must be very happy about that. Okay, how much food do we have? 259 pounds? It's gonna have to do. It's November. And there's impassable trails everywhere. Hopefully we can make it into Oregon for Christmas. Other than the severe blizzards. We're gonna get frostbite, we're gonna die. Oh, another one! 21 bullets! More parts. Dina has cholera. Dina, no! You can survive, I believe. Oh, no, no, hey, hey, oh, come on, bear, don't do that to me. That's rude. These controls are a little bit uh, finicky at times, but we'll take our, uh, we'll take our squirrel. Lucky squirrels. Okay, come on, we need, we need some deer. Fingers crossed. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is like the best open one, but then we get the two over on the sides of which we can't actually use it. Come on, Dina, you can walk off cholera. Well, maybe not, but, you know, we believe. You actually have clothes now. Hopefully they're actual winter clothes. Oh, no. There we go. I believe... That being said, we're gonna need to believe a whole lot more. Fortunately, we have bullets, so we can make our own food. We're like a magician, we turn bullets into f food. We need some more, uh, food. Yeah, we've had, uh, Rhapsody and, uh, Puppy die. Puppies was very abrupt. Okay. God, it is almost December. And we're into the mountains. This is very, very bad. Oh no. I feel like there has to be like a skull on that mountain. Maybe our own. Oh, come on, I don't want pounds of food. Uh, I don't think we there, it's worth going for the fort because at this point we just need to book it to Oregon. Not to mention we have no money. There's nothing we could buy at the fort even if we wanted. Dina has measles again. One of the oxen has died. I think we got three oxen left. Heavy fog. Very little water. Everyone's dying. Bad water. Impassable trip. Ten days? 
Oh my goodness. This is not good. We have to hunt. We better hunt. Um, I'm gonna try Organ Trail, uh, Lewis, next, which is more of a spoof game. But it's a good bit of fun. Oh no, come on, food. We need food. We have like 20 pounds. We might actually make it to Oregon. No, 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 no. Oh no. Bear, you had one job. To be shot. I become food. I guess the only benefit is that the fact that we have two people dead means that we eat less. Oh, come on. That was that was e evil game. That was very evil. Oh, I can't even get out of here. Gabe, why did you do this to me? With my dying breath, I curse these trees. Oh, no. Can't get out of my my tree prison. Oh no. No, I don't want to rest. We have eleven pounds of food. We better get something this time. Otherwise bad stuff is really gonna happen. My tree prisons. Ah oh, jeez. This is so bad to navigate. There we go. Oh, you son of a... There we go. Food. Now we can hunt. At least without the uh, big pressure on us of being almost starving. There. At least we get two pounds of meat. Oh, come on, we need a bear. No, no, <laughs> dear, don't do this. Oh, come on, bear. Come back. I would like to invite you as dinner. Oh, lovely. See, now that deer we're gonna have for dinner. They're the guest of honor. Oh, come back here. Beautiful. We have it 186 pounds. Let's continue on. Oh god, it's January. Yikes is measles. I'm not gonna have measles. Okay, we do not want to give up any of our oxen. <laughs> we got we gotta take the toll road. Yes. We can make it there. We're a hundred miles away. Oh god, severe blizzard. Nature's pulling out all the stops. Impassable trail. Let's hunt. We can maybe make it. Oh, jeez, they stole all our clothes? Oh, we're naked again. That guy was probably like a nudist person. Just wanted to recruit us to his lifestyle. My goodness. Okay, come on, we're 12 miles away. We did it. <laughs> I don't know how we did it, but we did it. Congratulations, you have made it to Oregon. Let's see how many points you have received. Three people in very poor health. Oh, I like how they put it in very poor. We have no clothing, three oxen, and 61 pounds of, uh, we have $8.50. For going as a farmer, your points are tripled. We made less points than we did as the carpenter. Now that's great. Oh my goodness. Somehow we made it. But yeah, we lost uh, Rhapsody and Puppy along the way. Okay, so what? one second, and I'm going to boot up Oregon Trail, which is kind of the same. I know, we could keep our clothes on in that one. <laughs> oh, that one ended so poorly. But we made it to Oregon, so that's the important thing. 
right, give me a moment and I will set up Oregon Trail. And then we'll be ready to uh, give this a go. So Oregon Trail is kind of a spoof of it. It's a zombie apocalypse. We're going from Washington, D.C. to Oregon. And uh, we're just trying to survive the zombie apocalypse. Get this all going and we'll be ready to play. Oh good, it already is set up for that. At least I hope it is. I mean, we're in the promised land of Oregon. Is this actually loading? Okay, good, it is. Beautiful. I think it should load in a moment. I'm gonna... There we go. Perfect. Let's do this. I tried difficult last time. I was like halfway through. We are the dude. We're going to play the intro, though. Draw on the line. You need to... Oh, jeez. Shooting is a lot easier in this one. Oh, god. This is not good. Oh, I'm out of ammo. No. Well then, it looks like I just saved your bacon. I reckon we stand a better chance out there if we stick together. My name is Clements. I used to be a priest. Not much use for those nowadays. What's your name, partner? The pleasure's all mine, Hedrak. Listen, even with the two of us, we won't survive very long. Everyone I trusted died a while back. Do you know anyone we could count on in a pinch? No, we're not gonna do suicide. We're gonna try and make it Oregon. There we go. There's still a good chance if they're still alive, they will be at the shelter set up in DC. If they have any sense, that is. We're gonna need a way to get around. I saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Those things might not be very reliable, but you'd be surprised how roomy they are. All right, let's get moving. Aha! I know, Clements. Definitely sounds sketchy, but that's okay. He's like our mentor figure, so you know he's not going to survive the opening. All right, I think I got just enough fuel and food for us to make it to DC in this baby. Let's hit the road. I'll drive. 135 miles to Washington, DC. Clements has a broken arm. He's driving with his teeth. Clements has dysentery. Clements was bitten by a zombie. <laughs> oh, poor Cle You are out of fuel. Poor Clements. He has, like, the worst luck. Hey, welcome, Brian. Yeah, just as the station wagon runs out of fuel, you coast into the city. You can hear a radio blaring in a nearby window. Repeat, all survivors who still remain in Washington, D.C. The government has declared a Class 3 biohazard in the area. They will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out while you can. The city is lost. Looks like we have a time problem. I'll go look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, you should go scavenging for supplies. I've heard about a place on the west coast that is supposed to be a safe haven from all this chaos. Let's meet back here and head out. Here, take my journal. I've written down everything I know about surviving on the road, and it should help you decide what you think we may need on the trip. Alright, so we get to bring stuff with us. First thing that we need fuel. Probably use some med kits. Definitely need ammo. We can actually scavenge for food, so we're, we should be okay without food. Your friends join the party. Great, everyone's here. There's just one more thing. Back there on the road, one of those things bit me. I'm already not feeling too well, and I can't stand the thought of becoming one of them. You're gonna have to put me down. Why don't you keep my journal? It may help you out there. 
Good luck. Poor Clements. I drag put down Clements. 322 miles to Pittsburgh. Oh yeah, we need to scavenge. Before everyone starves. Oh, chips! Doritos! That can save us! <laughs> oh, a shopping cart! We can eat that! Note that it's empty, so I'm just assuming we're eating the shopping cart. However, that gives us a lot of food. And the most important thing in the world? Duct tape! With enough duct tape, we can eat everything. Alright. 250 ounces brought back. We also found 15 scrap. Now let's get going. Now we're not gonna starve. We took a wrong turn. You hear gunfire from nearby buildings. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh no, he'll haunt me like Uncle Ben. You found one battery in an abandoned car. Oh, I hope not. You question the edibility of some of your food. You toss it to be safe. Okay, we still have plenty. You took a wrong turn. Oh, zombie activity is deadly. That's not good. Anytime you try to scavenge, uh, the zombie activity means how many people spawn to try and uh, mess with you. You stop suddenly to avoid hitting a zombie and everyone gets whiplash. I know. Rhapsody has cholera. Because the main character doesn't take as much damage, but they don't heal up when they rest. Until everyone is dead. Pittsburgh. Snowco machine. Don't consume food while waiting for traders or while repairing. Yeah, so we don't want anything there. Okay. Bandits. That's not a good one. We can try recovery, though. Two mufflers is actually pretty decent. If we're fast, we actually don't need to kill zombies for recovery missions. But they rank them between easy, difficult, and suicidal. <laughs> Of course, and those ones take two to kill. So we're trying to get to a box at the end. Two mufflers is definitely worth it. Ah, jeez. Fight in the veil's room. There we go. Haha! You made it. Earn two mufflers. Oh god, deadly. Okay, we need to rest anyway. Uh, we'll rest for three hours. How much food are we using? Oh, only ten. Okay. Hey, we haven't driven in a while. <laughs> that, that's why. Rapsy no longer is cholera. You must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. The horde in front of you is currently large inside, and appears to be docile. So we can break out guns and clear a path, or we can attempt to sneak through. Or we can hire mercenaries. So this is basically like the rivers, but since they're docile, we can probably sneak through and just run over to some. Oh shoot, we lost one battery. That's actually not that bad. Okay. I'm surprised that it actually failed. Usually you get through there with docile. <laughs> go in guns blazing. Next time we'll go in guns blazing if it's not like super ravenous. Oh shoot. Uh, it starts raining heavily. We need to scavenge. 
Especially while the uh, activity is on medium. See, we need the Doritos on the side of the road. So whenever we scavenge, we can get food um, scrap, which lets us repair our station wagon, or money. You can occasionally find bullets, but they're pretty rare. Oh, hey, rude. And with certain perks, you can actually find medkits as well. Unlike with Huntin' and Oregon Trail, you have to just survive the scavenging second section long enough. So you can usually get three or four items when you scavenge. Aha! Ten scrap. Oh, well, that's right, we don't have any money. Yeah, these are good road Doritos. Oh, a thing of groceries. Someone just left it their groceries on the side of the road. There's probably vegan options in there. Oh yeah, see? We got some canned goods, we got some bullets. Everything is golden. Everything's turning up... Oh, jeez. I wonder if I can make it there before this ends. No, 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 no. We can do this. Lovely. Aha! No, not really, uh, time. Yeah, they took one battery. We just threw it out, and that's why they were, uh, they left us alone. That's how zombies work, right? Well, it's the same thing if we get hit by a zombie when we're scavenging, we just take damage. We don't actually get a zombie bite condition. Which is kind of weird. But zombie bites in this one also just mean that you heal slower and such. You don't- your characters won't actually turn until they run out of health. Which again, kind of weird, but... I guess it's to make this game not as deadly as it would otherwise be. But this is also why scavenging is really good once you have um, activities low, because you can usually grab as much stuff as you need. Actually, some money would drop by now. But alas, it looks like that we're not getting any good luck with that. There's also some boss fights. But those tend to be random. Usually there's like zombie dogs or a zombie bear. getting much on this one. So I guess uh, it's time to move on. Yeah. And if we choose to repair, we can use scrap. We get to play a little mini game. I usually do this a lot worse. But that allows us to keep our station wagon. Oh, we can set our pace as well. Sky clears up. Yeah, there's actually some boss fights. There's also some other things that will happen. We took a wrong turn. Like biker gangs messing with us. It starts raining heavily, you have to drive more slowly. <laughs> I know, there should be some zombie buffalo, but I don't think there are. Just because it's raining. Heavy ash clover covers the windshield, which forced you to slow down. The mall. I'll find more money while scavenging. That's actually not a bad one. Oh, this is not a good one for just eight bucks. But even so, you can see what the bandit one is. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I'm 
know if he would still be behind cover. Oh, no. Oh, no, I have to miss it. Ah, jeez, my timing. There we go. Beautiful. Right in the face. Nice. You survived the attack. I earned eight bucks for killing like six people. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 stuff. Welcome, stranger. So if we wanted to sell stuff, we could actually make some money as well. Unfortunately, they don't sell us for... they don't sell very much. Once we get towards the end game, then we can sell stuff for a ridiculous amount of money. Because as you can see, you can scavenge for food pretty easily, like in Oregon Trail. This is also why, well, scavenging on high activity is not a good idea. It's usually not that bad, but... This is just not ideal. <laughs> that was pretty close. I know, this one's actually a lot of fun to play. Uh, we should probably rest. Especially because Rhapsody is still a bit down from having cholera. Two hundred miles to Indianapolis. Battery dies on you, but you replace it from supplies. Ah, if we didn't lose that battery from the horde. You find some roadkill. It's probably safe to eat. But you have to watch our fuel as well. You get caught in a blizzard. The cold will tax your health. And you will have to drive more cautiously. You found an abandoned car. There was nothing to be scavenged. Someone else already stripped it to the bone. Well, metaphorically speaking. Yeah, we're probably okay. The only rotter you can find is sludge from a runoff drain. You reluctantly drink it. Hey, what kind of jobs we got here? 18 bucks? Ah, oh, this is not a good one. At least they give you some ammo to do this. Unfortunately, dangerous ones tend to be not really worth it. Oh, that was actually pretty lucky. If this one was unsuicidal, I definitely would not have done it. Survive the attack. 18 bucks! Making the money! Okay, what kind of, uh... Never lose the road. Oh, that actually might be a nice one. We do have to, uh, repair and also rest. So maybe zombie attack activity will, uh, die down. I mean, this is just your normal kind of zombie apocalypse that we just have to, uh... Yeah, see, it's already medium. Anyone wants four of your scrap for one of their... Oh, that's a good trade. Medkits are not nearly... Uh... Oh, no, no, we don't want that one. One of your tire for one of their mufflers. Mm, no. Anytime that the folks will give you something really good for something like a few scrap or food, that, that's a deal worth taking. 
they sometimes will give you like a incredibly good deal. And it's just like, why would you make such a dumb deal? But yeah, as you can see, this is much easier to play than Oregon Trail. <laughs> I can actually aim and move about. And there's a lot of Easter eggs and such. There's some Evil Dead stuff. There's the uh, merchant from Resident Evil 4. There's probably more that I'm not remembering. But yeah, scrap is really good to uh, get. And once you get further in, it sells for a pretty decent amount. Oh god, we actually get some money. Give me the money. And I've tried the shotgun before. I've never really found that one particularly fun. I think the basic rifle that you start with is actually one of the better ones. I suppose we could also sell the food if we get in a ridiculous amount. Yeah, that is a hand flying around in the grave. If we mess with it, then they'll come out of the grave, but we don't want that. At least, presumably, I don't want that. See, like, I don't want to mess with that grave. That guy's not there to give me a high five. He does not mean me well. He's definitely not going to help me carry my groceries to my station wagon. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe it's one of those touchy-feely kind of zombies that he's not really just trying to get out. He just wants someone to uh, give him a hand. There we are. We should definitely scavenge as much as possible while it's low activity. See, that's some good scrap. We're gonna get a lot of food and scrap. Oh, there's the boss fight. So the big thing about the, this guy is he moves faster unless we shoot him. So we just have to survive because we can't actually kill him. So we just have to just keep running. There we are. Nice try, zombie bear. Oh no, he's actually getting out. <laughs> he finally figured out how to get out of his grave. I think this is the last time we're gonna scavenge. We're just trying to get some easy stuff. Yeah, you gotta have. I mean, you gotta have a zombie bear. With how many we shot on the Oregon Trail. Of course, some of them were gonna come back. Beautiful. I think then the only thing we have left... We can probably sell some of our stuff. Yeah, see we got a ridiculous amount of food. We might actually be able to buy that uh, GPS now. No, we need two more dollars. There, we're gonna have one dollar to our name. It makes me feel a little bit better about buying a GPS. Beautiful. Now we can stop uh, messing around. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> My old man reflexes. Grade B, as in B better. Worst part is that was a slow one. Okay, beautiful. 
So yeah, food is pretty easy to get if you're willing to wait around and scavenge. About 300 miles to the farmland. We probably do need to make some money so we can buy more fuel. You must take a wrong turn, but the GPS keeps you on track. Beautiful, GPS is already saving us. Saving our bacon. Oh, the grave of some poor soul buried on the side of the road. Will you stop and look? Of course! Quaker State Irregulars will rise again. Oh, 11 ammo near the grave. Heavy ash covers the windshield, which forced you to slow down. Let's do this. A bandit sneaks up on you and grabs Dina. Oh no. You'll only get one shot. There you go, Dina is saved. <laughs> so yeah, if you miss the shot, then uh, the bandit kills them. And of course, if you shoot your a party member, they'll die. Hey, welcome mystery. Uh, we're playing Oregon Trail after playing Oregon Trail. This time, Dina tells a really good joke. Everyone is in high spirits. I mean, after being saved from bandits, I suppose that uh, you have to look on the bright side of life. Oh, but geez. <laughs> but it, we're yeah, unlike Oregon Trail, this one's more that you're driving through a zombie apocalypse in a station wagon. Oh, he's still giving us the money scavenger. Oh yeah, I love how they're paying us in two scraps. Oh, <laughs> that was... Okay, that wasn't as lucky. Oh shoot, what is my... Eamon, what is it? Oh, that's gonna miss. not have a good feeling about this. I don't know why. Shoot, how do you aim? recovered <laughs> oh my goodness 32 bucks is ours yeah because we need fuel what can we sell we could probably sell the scrap if it comes down to it oh it's deadly so not a good time we can rest for like two hours <laughs> oh nice joke Tita still deadly. I uh, golly. Let's do it. Oh, we ruined it. So yeah, we're pretty good on food and scrap. We just need to try and keep as much. Oh, a biker king follows you out of the settlement. I like to think that these guys are not doing us any actual harm. We're just very rude drivers just sort of like hitting them. This is exactly how uh, bike you deal with biker games. I'm actually surprised the ramming them doesn't actually hurt our car. But yeah, occasionally we have biker gangs that will try and uh, shoot our car if they get up to us. No, not yet, uh, Blaze. We did lose Puppy and Rhapsody when we were a farmer on our second Oregon Trail game. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, yeah they, they might be, uh, they might have a mild case of death. That gang might take a while for recruiting. 224 miles to Chicago. Got this. Yikes tells an inspiring story and puts everyone in high spirits. <laughs> you notice know, something going on a ways off from the road. We get out and look? Yes. You see a strange looking creature in the bushes. From this distance, it looks like some kind of monstrous half man, half deer. Oh, golly. 
should probably... Draw your gun, but before you can get a steady shot, you are overrun. You hear Yikes yell in pain. You see that Yikes was a cack. The creature is nowhere to be found. Ah. See, that's why we shouldn't have got a closer look. You almost lose the road, but your GPS guides you back. At least Yikes is okay. They're not dead. <laughs> I know. Our rear bumper is made out of, like, plot armor. Chicago. Oh, seven dollars. What's the uh, special? Never break tires. Tires never need replacing. That's actually a good one. But we only have like five bucks. So we're gonna try and see if we can get the activity down so we can actually scavenge a bit. Yeah, see, that's actually good. So if we can do a bit of scavenging and get some money, we can get Never Break Tires. See, that's a, a wallet. We can get uh, some money from that. Someone's credit card is still good. No, I don't think we actually killed it. It just basically said it ran off. But it hurt, yikes. Fortunately, it didn't kill her automatically. Now we got some genuine... Chicago duct tape. But yeah, if you've never played uh, this game, it's a fun spoof of Oregon Trail. Well worth playing. There we go, 20 bucks. We're starting to get some good stuff. Activity's low, so we can definitely get the Never Break tires. Because, I mean, the big thing is we can always just keep... Oh, we got the bear again. Oh, goodness. Oh, shoot. Oh, goodness. Money. That's the big monies. That's... Okay, at least we got a lot of money. Come on, we can get this money. Go for it. Okay, beautiful. There we go, $100. <laughs> oh, nice. Ah, right, you have a great night, Mystery. Thanks for stopping by. You have a break tires. The mine. Now my tires will never break. Ever. Hey, Chicago, what, what, what gives? You're supposed to have more to sell for me. Uh, let me see, what is my station wagon looking like? I wonder if we can actually sell decent stuff. No. The best we could do is sell scrap. 274 miles to the remote shack. Puppy is dicking with one med kit and accidentally ruins it. Puppy, why? <laughs> well, I mean, they're zombie bears. They don't gotta play by nature's rules. Dina has measles. The med kit's useful mostly for healing a lot of uh, health at once, as someone's very low on uh, health. It also can heal your main character. Falling a wake of vultures has led you to food. Because your main character doesn't heal from uh, resting, but they also don't take a lot of damage. Sparks shoot out the back. Your muffler's dragging on the road. Time to replace it. You replace it from supplies. <laughs> That's probably true, puppy. You find some roadkill. It's probably safe to eat. I've played in Stardew Valley enough with you to know. You wait an hour while Yikes vomits in the bushes. That's okay, we still got five more. Find some roadkill. It's probably safe to eat. Yeah, there's our Evil Dead reference. Ah, oh, jeez. I like how it's three tires, but, uh... Why does he keep giving us the money scavenger? We're fine. We'll become a money scavenger. 
Maybe he'll give us something different next time with that. But as you see from the kill option, even you can put down infected players, but you can just kill your party members if you really want to. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to rest so that Dina can uh, recover. I want to scavenge because we got the money scavenger. And this place actually has some good stuff to uh, buy, especially fuel. Dina no longer has measles. That's how this works, right? Oh, it's still deadly. One second, hydration while I rest. Here we go. Okay, come on, we can get this down to medium. There we are, beautiful. Now is the time to scavenge. Yeah, see, food's right there. Well, money scavenger is supposed to make it to where you get mostly money, it still seems as though you don't really... That's not really the case. The best combat one that you can get is faster reloading, which helps enormously for any of the stuff. Hey, this is my scrap. And yeah, we need to get some more. There, come on, give me some money. I need to buy the fuel. Unless that's a can of money, canned money, then I am very disappointed. I feel that old man didn't teach me enough. See, this basket isn't full of money, it's full of food. Also, I should probably buy more bullets. This is, you definitely want to conserve ammo more than you do in Oregon Trail, but you have more zombies to be giving you difficulties. Okay, we need money. Not scrap. Actual, you know, green. You know, not bread that to actually find and eat, but bread of a uh, different monetary value. No, this one's actually more retro. I think it came out a few years ago. But I mean, it's a spoof of the uh, old Oregon Trail game. We might have worn out our welcome here, because there's not many good things dropping. But we can sell scrap, so I mean... Even if it's only a dollar. See, that should be enough. Buy that. Buy some ammo. And then there we go. We're good to uh, head out. On our way to St. Louis. And, you know, put on the radio, give some nice... Uh, you suddenly stop to avoid hitting the zombie and everyone gets whiplash. Hey, hey, this ride should be pleasant. Turn on the radio. Rhapsody walks off to take a piss and comes back with a bite wound. Oh no, Rhapsody. We'll never be able to cure this, but as long as uh, we don't let Rhapsody die, then they won't come back as a zombie. Yikes, has a broken leg. Yeah, we better stop. Uh, we should probably scavenge first. Because once we stop to rest, 
then activity is going to increase dramatically. Yeah, see, that's the, what we need, the big money. Big food, too. But at this point, we really need the big money more. Because the big money lets us buy training and upgrades for our station wagon. And everyone loves upgrades. Not to mention more gas, more bullets. That's okay. See, we're making sure that Rhapsody survives. Okay, we can scavenge one more time. Maybe we get more money. <laughs> Take it. We are so very well on food. Oh, this is a different boss one. down. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I almost got the money. Almost. But not quite. Yeah, the dogs take three bullets to kill, but they can leap at you. And they can be a little more annoying to dodge. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about food for a while. So yikes should be fine now. So we'll do a little bit of repairs and then continue on our merry way. I know, we lost the big money. To be fair, I wasn't expecting dogs. <laughs> I find that the dogs are harder to hit as well. The bear usually is a lot easier to, to uh, deal with. Bar shit out the back, your muffler's dragging on the road, time to replace it. You replace it from supplies. I hope that I actually have still some mufflers, otherwise we'll have to try and raise money for him. A rumbling sound comes from behind you. Oh no, zombie deers. Big Fingle! Zombie deers, why? I just want out to be on a nice little drive stroll kind of thing. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs> I know, it's all the deer I killed in Oregon Trail. They're coming back for revenge. Ah, St. Louis looks like it could be better. Okay, what's the auto shop? Oh, radio, chance to heal. But we don't... We don't need that. Okay, so I have... I have mufflers. Okay, once 25 for their battery. That's actually a good... Oh, goodness, that's an easy deal. Basically, anyone that wants scrap or food, that's when we definitely want to uh, make that trade. Unless we are very out of it. But yeah, food is not a problem. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. Don't rest. But let's take this moment to scavenge. See? That's why. We need the we need the money. I only want the money so that I can hopefully get faster reload. But we also need to buy some more uh, gasoline. Ah oh, yeah, finally, we're getting money. Not food or scraps. Although to be fair, scraps is still useful. You're gonna use that throughout the entire game. I know, now we actually can buy things. That's like 40 bucks. Oh, we are. Let's 
see how many... Oh, they have nothing but gas, so that is beautiful. How many things do we have? 11.5. We are doing pretty darn good. Although we probably do want to get more bullets eventually. I feel like that there's a certain thing where, kind of like Oregon Trail, how we were struggling with those bullets because we are going through so many more bullets shooting zombies. Yes, the big money. Hey, don't you take my money. It's mine. It feels like we go through the bullets so much faster, even though we actually were shooting a lot more in Oregon Trail. There we go, 50 bucks. Okay, one more time. Scavenging is so very good in this game. If you scavenge when it's lower medium activity, you can make so much stuff. Like Doritos, everyone loves Doritos during the zombie apocalypse. And I mean, maybe you're desperate and your survival is just really dependent on Doritos. Hey, hey, hey. No dodging these bullets. So I think what we can do is also sell some stuff to make some extra money. <laughs> That's true, puppy. But we don't talk about that. I had to make sure the deer was really dead, you know. Let's do this. Come across a horde. You must cross a horde of zombies. It's currently small in size and appears to be docile. Okay, break out the guns and clear a path. Do it. Shoot them all down. You successfully fought your way through the horde. We fought the horde. I know, if we do... Well, no, no, you sell... Uh, it's $1 for every 10 food, so we'd get something like 70 bucks. Your gunfire from nearby buildings. But as we get further and further on, we'll eventually be able to find places that will... Uh... Rhapsody talks about a time before all this started. Everyone is somber. We'll actually make quite a bit of money towards the end, especially with scraps and food. Looks like something interesting has happened off the side of the road. Would you like to get on a look? I'll roll the dice! As you approach, you see a man holding a sign. The sign reads, Answers, and he shouts out, In this godforsaken land, I have the answer to all your questions. Approach and be enlightened. Watch, he probably has a gun. Okay, I'll tell you why the dead walk among us, my son. It all started when one of those fast food restaurants knew weird prion sensitive additives mixed with a new aggressive variant of the mad cow disease. Spread the message, my son. Now then, we're both children of God in these forsaken times. Do you think you could spare some of your time for his wishes? My flock has strayed from the path. Okay. Uh, I have been keeping a group of believers in a building north of here. They recently exiled me from the community. They carry out sacrificial ritual to some false god. I know this is a lot to ask, but if you could kill them all for me, you would be doing God's work, my son. Ah, uh, I'm gonna politely leave. You think this guy might be a little bit off his rocker. You politely back away from him. We just smile, nod, and uh, we're getting out of- Oh, this is Oregon Trail, uh, for real. It's basically a spoof of Oregon Trail, where you're going from uh, Washington, D.C. to uh, Oregon in a zombie apocalypse and in a station wagon. You suddenly stop to avoid hitting a zombie and everyone gets whiplash. So we have to uh, maintain our health, our station wagon. You must take a wrong turn, but the GPS keeps you on track. Man, this GPS is definitely uh, keeping us on the straight and narrow path. You see a tombstone by the side of the road. Would you like to stop and investigate? Yes, I would. This stone was used to crush a squirrel. Ah, oh, it's just a guy who wants to give me a hand. Oh. There we are. I forgot. I have to shoot him in the head. The cave. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, carry capacity. Too bad that's not useful. Uh, 42 ammo. 
Oh, we could do this one. If we move quick enough, we should probably use less ammo than we'll actually get. Ah, shoot. That being said, we should probably not find ourselves stuck like that in the next time. My power walk in. You feel like that I should be running during this moment. I got an entire horde of zombies after me. I made it though. <laughs> yeah, it's all the squirrels. They're coming back to haunt me. Okay, so I have 98 bucks. And it's medium. So this is actually a pretty decent time to scavenge because it's going to become higher uh, shortly. So this is probably our last opportunity before night falls. Oh, that was a little more closer than I would have liked. Ah, uh, let me see. So party-wise, we're doing pretty decent. We can also repair the station wagon. See, the only thing with difficulty is it really affects the beat starting point. But as long as you have a decent amount of bullets to scavenge, you can really still build up pretty fast. So we'll rest up a bit, get them all a bit stronger, and then see what we can buy in town. Oh, geez, that's a lot of fuel. Uh, let's see, how many do we have? Nine? There we go, we have plenty of fuel now. Wait. No, I don't want to buy scrap, but I will gladly sell food. Wait, no, no, no. All right, leave. 148 miles to Memphis. We got this. Oh, hey, welcome, Vinny. Rapsy breaks a rib. Oh, jeez. As long as they don't get too low on health. The only water you can find is sludge from a runoff drain, you reluctantly drink it. You can always use a med kit if it becomes necessary to keep Rhapsody's health up. Hey, welcome, Iceberg. A sandstorm kicks up. You'll have to drive slowly due to low visibility. Welcome to Memphis. Oh, I, it's still the radio. Good job. Oh yeah, suicide for 15 bucks. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. We don't really need anything from here. And it's deadly, so... I think the only thing to worry about is just rest up. And then get back on the road. See, your main character doesn't heal up uh, from resting until all four other people are dead. So you have to heal your main character through med kits. Of course, if you don't take damage from scavenging, then it doesn't actually do much. But yeah, it will not cure bitten members of their infection. Which is the uh, downside. A bike gang falls you out of the settlement. You'd think they tried to go around me. I guess not. They're just like, we're just gonna push on through. 
We got this. They believe in themselves. <laughs> I know. FC needs to survive. Everyone needs to survive. Preferably without zombie fights. I know, they are doing some sick flips. Maybe they're like a stunt gang and they're just trying to do film something. And we just don't know that they're filming. Alright, 274 miles to prison. I think it's a little over 6,000 miles to get to Oregon. <laughs> the kamikaze bike is. It might be true, Vinny. I know, I agree, Blaze. I don't know why they do that. That seems like a very poor decision. Rapsy was bitten by a zombie again? I just like how uh, uh, Rhapsody is apparently like the zombie magnet in this one. But I guess it works out. If you've already been bitten once, then at that point, I guess you just don't care. As I guess they're just like, what are you gonna do to me? Double infect me? This one didn't have a lot of stuff. I <laughs> know. Well, she got bit on one arm. Now this is the other arm. All right, we found five bucks. Well, the as zombie activity is low, we should definitely try to scavenge a little. See, that's more than enough food to be all set. Oh crap. Smokey the Bear is on their way. Don't you even think of taking my Doritos, Smokey! At least I got my Doritos. Come on, I have money scavenger and I'm still not getting much money. I found five bucks! Hey, 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 rude. There we go. See, if you complain about not getting money, then that's how you get the big money. My character has not gotten any... There, see? You complain about the money, you get the money. That's how this works. <laughs> Jeez. That old man trained me for so long, I should know how to find the dollar bills out in the wastelands. I got my 55 bucks. Now we're good. I don't even remember why we stopped. I think we were going to rest so that Rhapsody could get some more health back. But we'll do that once we get to prison. I know, we're more power walking, Blaze. We're too cool to run during the zombie apocalypse. Okay, what's the jobs? This would be good if it wasn't suicide difficulty. Oh, why are you giving me carry capacity? <sighs> maybe that's- maybe I have to buy that in order for him to do something else. I feel that might be the thing, considering they're just doing carrying capacity all over again. Which is a real shame. The really good one is if you get faster reload. There's also faster bullets. I don't know how they teach you that. It's probably going to be high activity after this one. Hey, welcome, Scoodle. Welcome to Oregon Trail. We've got 20 bucks. We've learned that if you complain about the uh, lack of money as you uh, travel the wasteland, that causes money to drop. 
like a whole bag of money, and a comically one with, you know, painted with a dollar sign. But we're trying to travel to Oregon in our station wagon. Unfortunately, Rhapsody has a zombie bite, but they're okay for now. That being said, we should probably rest. And I should point out, Rhapsody doesn't just have one zombie bite. She's opted for two zombie bites in this case. That's because she's hardcore. Should probably buy some fuel. Okay, 462 miles to the hospital. Broken down cars block the road. Navigating the debris takes an hour. Just gotta wait for zombie activity to die down a bit. You're out of water and you can't find any nearby. Everyone's dehydrated. Oh, that's, that's not good. I feel like we should have found bottled water when we were scavenging. There we go. It's starting to get out of deadly. You just really don't want to scavenge when it's deadly. Well, the zombie bite doesn't kill you, per se. They only turn if they get their health to zero. See a pile of zombies feasting on something. Or someone. So as long as we keep Rhapsody's health up, then she won't turn. Ooh, once activity gets down low, that's when we can make the big money. Sandstorm kicks up, you'll have to drive slowly due to low visibility. I mean, we're almost at the hospital. Yikes has a fever. Yeah, we should be able to scavenge quite a bit. The grim scenery depresses everyone. I mean, I like how we can see that despite the fact there's a sandstorm. We slow down to sneak past a large horde of zombies. Okay, one battery, don't need that. There's nothing new I can teach you. What do you got for sale? Hmm, nothing particularly useful. But we can scavenge. Doritos! I always needed Doritos. If you don't have Doritos, are you really surviving the zombie apocalypse? Of course, depending on your opinion of Doritos, it might be out of desperation or not. I wouldn't say I'm really a fan of them, but you know, <laughs> you gotta you gotta have uh, you gotta do desperate things to survive at times. Yeah, we don't actually have to keep track of water. I think it's more so because it just does the uh, water. Like how uh, Oregon Trail was just doing bad water and, um, you know, dehydration and whatnot, even if we had food. That there wasn't anything from stores of water that we could keep. Because otherwise, I would imagine that if we're just getting all this food and everything, we're also getting, like, bottled water or something. Maybe some Gatorade. Maybe even some Kool-Aid. So then our character can shout, oh yeah! Oh, we got the big money that time, so that, that's actually really good. Oh. One more time. I'm addicted to scavenging. See? Because there's credit cards! shopping carts. We can eat those. We're eating well tonight. <laughs> That's true. If we're desperate enough to eat the Doritos, then we'll definitely need some water. Yeah, there should be more than enough money. To mention all that scavenging. Mm, we don't really need ammo yet. Oh, that's right, we do need to rest. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Everyone's dying. We should probably take it easy. Besides, yikes can rest off that uh, fever. There we go. See, no fever. Beautiful. Let's repair the station wagon. Maybe not this time. That B, F or B better. Okay, 445 miles to Dallas. Let's do this. Found an abandoned car, but there was nothing to be scavenged. <laughs> Convert Doritos to water, water via liquidation. Yikes gets shot by a stray bullet. At least they're still alive. That's the important thing. Sandstorm kicks up. You'll have to drive slowly due to low visibility. There's an awful lot of ruined buildings and such in the background. At least the roads are relatively clear. You'd think that they would all be piled up with cars that would make it almost impossible to drive. Gas can leak and you lose half a can. Oh goodness, we're down to six cans. You know, we should probably also be trying to trade. You hear an explosion in the distance. IV of Dorita water? Oh no! <laughs> There's a tombstone in the distance. Will you get out and look? Of course I will. Here lies Ashton Smith. He walked into the wrong bush. No high five in me, buddy. You're out of water and can't find any of everyone's dehydrated, but we're in Dallas. That's the important thing. Ah, oh, nine bucks. That's like, no. Never lose a gas can. Oh, that's actually a pretty decent one. Oh man, Dallas, why? Oh, we got the big money, food. I got all the monies. Okay, medium activity. Uh, now's a good time to scavenge. In fact, now is the ideal time to scavenge, especially because it'll go to low activity in a moment. And if I can get more duct tape, I can fix everything. But I won't be able to fix my life. Yeah, <laughs> very tragic. We found 35 scrap. That's actually pretty good. And now it's low. This is actually a good part where food or scrap would be better to find. Because we could convert that 35 scrap into like a hundred bucks. Oh, that's right, we should probably look at trades. Maybe someone is willing to give us like 10 field cans for one scrap. I can believe that such a trade will exist. Okay, probably scavenge once more. I think we're pretty good on money for now. I mean, to be, to be honest, we really... With 200 plus dollars, and not to mention we can sell quite a few other things, we're not really going to be hurting on money for a while. Even after we rest up and everything. Okay, 
so we got two hundred fifty dollars. Make sure everyone is safe. That's probably good rest in amount. I just gotta make sure that Yikes doesn't die. But yeah, now that we've uh, lost our opportunity for scavenging, unless we want to make it hard, which I really don't. get some repairs going. I think we'll buy that carrier so that we don't lose any fuel because we're pretty low on fuel as it is. Maybe see if we got any trades. Because, I mean, we could rest and do as much trading as we like. But there's really not much need to. Okay, 30 of their ammo for two of your fuel? No. No. I mean, technically, I could trade my tires because I have never broken tires. There we go. Uh, and they don't have anything. To... Beautiful. We have plenty of money now. I know, there's a lot of uh, fun thing, fun games like that, Vinny. Oh, we have to cross this horde of zombies. It's currently large inside and appears to be alert. Uh, let's see. Let's break out the guns. Maybe we can make it. Oh, jeez. We lost 83 food and one scrap. Spend some time cleaning guts out of the car. <laughs> yeah, from trying to be overrun. You out of water and it can't find it nearby. Everyone's dehydrated. The fuel is the thing that's gonna hurt. Some food goes bad. I'm perfectly fine though. Let's see if we can get a trade. Oh, five of their fuel for 19 of my dollars. That is, like, super good. That is, like, the luckiest thing I could get. Yikes says dysentery. Oh, no. You find some roadkill. It's probably safe to eat. There's a lot of really good old games like that. Sometimes... Oh, Puppy got shot by a stray bullet. I should probably stop and rest. Okay, one, one of my med kits for four of their fuel. Oh, I hate to make that kind of trade, especially because I'm going to use a med kit on myself. But that's okay, because we can... The next time we get to, we can always buy a med kit. Even though med kits are stupidly expensive. Yikes, no longer has dysentery. Yeah, I know. Fortunately, the dysentery is not going to be that bad at this point. Although you do get an achievement, if I remember right, for dying from dysentery. Okay, we should probably scavenge while we have the opportunity. Not only for the money, but also just to kind of get some more food. The game's just throwing money at me now. Now I don't need it. I just like, you were complaining about the money earlier. Now let's make it rain. I mean, I can put the money to good use, though. It just kind of depends on what kind of genre you like, though, Vinny, for old kind of retro games. But I mean, there's games... Like, the when I played Infernex uh, in stream that... That one goes for much more of the old NES, kind of like Castlevania kind of stuff. 
that it tries to emulate that kind of style. There's ones that go for the uh, kind of like older Zelda-ish kind of ones. Because there's people that rem uh, remember more like the Super Nintendo Zelda, Link to the Past, if I think of the, the correct one. So it really depends on what kind of uh, stuff you like. And not to mention there's like ridiculous amounts of abandonware kind of games. Games that have never seen the light of day. Well, that's not exactly true, but... <laughs> getting stupidly amounts of money. I was hoping to get some food. Okay, we can't we can't eat scrap, but scrap is still good. I was hoping to eat cake instead of scrap. There we go. See groceries. That's not even scrap groceries. There's actually an old game that I remember called The Summoning that was kind of like an RPG-ish one. That's definitely a bandware at this point. And for the longest time, because I played it when I was a kid, and I never beat it, and then I finally played it as an adult and was like, okay, I'm sitting down and I've beaten this game because I remember it so much. And so I finally actually did do that. And it was a very interesting kind of RPG kind of game. You basically prepared spells like in D&D kind of things, only with hand gestures that you had to remember. And you had a lot of various puzzles to solve in. Unfortunately, it was like one of the old games where they loved making the game unwinnable. I sold off a good bit of stuff, uh, Stardust, in the last town. Both scrap and food. Uh, so I've actually made a lot of money from that. And now my money scavenging is finally starting to pay off. Because now I'm finding all the monies. Oh, come on. I just wanted a little bit more food. See, now it's throwing money at me. It's making it rain. Oh my goodness, it is making it rain. I know, this is a really fun game. I definitely recommend giving it a try if you really want to try like the Oregon Trail kind of stuff. I basically had to get DOSBox to get Oregon Trail working. Okay, that... This is probably a good time to move on, repair this, and then head on our merry way. I mean, we have more than enough food to survive. Oh. But I remember the uh, summoning game mostly because of the fact that, if I remember right, it was on a uh, old computer when I was really young that had like a hard drive of 120 megabytes or something. Catch a bandit trying to steal gas cans, but the carrier is locked tight. Ah, take that bandit. Wait an hour while Dina vomits in the bushes. I know, I, I really enjoyed Link to the Past, but I still... You suddenly find yourself surrounded by zombies. I still have fond memories of the very first Zelda for the NES. Hey, that should have counted. That hit him in the toes. Okay, that was more of a warning shot, but still. Besides, you got the old man that's like, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this! No, you don't get your slingshot shot. Ah, goodness. Blah. The grim scenery depresses everyone. Your slingshot privileges are still revoked, even in Oregon Trail, uh, puppy. I think you see something going on in the distance when you get out of the car to investigate. We're investigating everything. Find a makeshift shower someone must have built. 
There isn't much run in water these days. A shower should, sure would feel nice. I should take... Uh, just in case something bad happens. You feel refreshed. Oh, it actually was not a trap. <laughs> it was expected it to be a trap. Because who would keep a working makeshift shower in the middle of nowhere? Muffler falls off the station wagon. You replace it from supplies. Military blockade impedes your progress for an hour. Oh, geez, what kind of uh, games did you uh, have a fond memory of? I remember uh, StarCraft and ones like Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Oh, puppy! Puppy walks back to take a piss and comes back with a bite wound. Look how everyone is getting infected now. Heavy fog rolls in. You're forced to move drive more slowly. Should probably stop and rest. Dina has a fever. Okay, one other tire for twelve hundred dollars. Eh, I don't need that one. <laughs> yeah, this is why you should make sure that you go. Someone's covering you while you're uh, taking a piss. That's okay, puppy. As long as you don't die, you're still you're gonna be fine. All right, Dina no longer has a fever. Should probably scavenge for a little bit of food. There we go. See, we got groceries right there. There's probably even some vegan options. Oh, why did I have the, uh, seeing someone's credit cards? Yeah, we're probably not going to find much else. <laughs> Zombie buddies, do you like high five each other? Okay, maybe repair our station wagon a bit. Probably gonna have to do this twice. Oh. Then again, with how many scripts? Probably three times. We're not very good at that. Alright, let's get moving. This guy clears up. Out of water and can't find any. Everyone's dehydrated. Had a nasty bump, but your carrier keeps anything from falling off. Nice, we lost fuel otherwise. A wrong turn, the GPS is keeping us on the straight and narrow path. Welcome to the strip club. Action hero. Mm. Oh no, fuel is pretty expensive this time. Leavener the ammo. No! <laughs> no! Definitely not. Alright, rest up. Hey, welcome, Band of Sonic. This is Oregon Trail. It's a spoof of Oregon Trail as we uh, drive in a station wagon from DC to Oregon during a zombie apocalypse. And <laughs> we're trying to keep everyone alive. Unfortunately, two people have zombie bites. They can just walk that off. I get the feeling that if we did this slower, we'd actually do a lot better. Hmm. The 
Yeah. I feel like we could probably either wait for scavenging opportunities. Five of their fuel for 25 of my dollars. I will take that trade. No. I know, we could... There's a lot of good ones. Okay, spare 26. Yeah, that's actually a pretty decent trade. I think, yeah, medium. So we should get down to low after this one. This should be our good opportunity to get enough food and such to carry on. Just think, when we get to Oregon, we're gonna have almost a thousand dollars. I don't know if that will mean that we'll have a lot of money in the, uh, in this sort of post-apocalyptic wasteland. I would have thought that it would have kind of lost value, but, you know, if we ever switch to a bottle cap kind of currency, I think we'll be good. Yeah, I know. They're gonna be fine, uh, for real. If they want brains, though, then, you know, they'll have to do that on their own time. Oh, okay, so we get some bullets and some cans. Anything else on this scavenging run? <laughs> Brain salad. Not a nice. Wouldn't it be T G I F instead of T F I G? Is this supposed to be Thank God It's Friday? But I mean, Brain salad. Yeah, that definitely sounds like a uh, fancy zombie thing. I mean, you'd at that point, expect the zo zombies to have, like, monocles and such. Ah, oh, yeah, see, that's the food I was waiting for. We can eat this shopping cart. Oh, no worries. <laughs> I thought that it might be an acronym I might be unfamiliar with, but I thought it might be TGIF. go the big food is there anything else that we were here for I will just take action hero because why not now we're just doing this to make as much money as possible okay so everyone's good let's continue on Oh, we're going to make that wrong turn in Albuquerque. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if we had sunflowers, we would definitely be able to deal with these zombies. But then again, we don't own a uh, house or a yard, so I don't think we'd be able to be that helpful. You hit a zombie, it leaves a ding in the hood of the station wagon. The sky clears up. You stop suddenly to avoid hitting a zombie and everyone gets whiplash. It starts raining heavily. I should probably stop so we can rest. Okay, is one other battery for one of your tires? I don't have a tire. Because the last thing we want is someone like Puppy or Rhapsody getting a straight hit by a straight bullet. Because if that happens, then they'll probably die and turn. <laughs> yeah, if only we had more of that. Okay, one repair as well, just because. Oh, 
we got an A. We actually passed with flying colors. All right. This guy clears up. Oh, you left Dallas a long time ago. Heavy fog rolls in. I don't know why the strip club was on our landmarks. I guess it's the last one in the US at this point. Just like the mall that we went to earlier, that's the last mall. Yikes has cholera. Dina has dysentery. Wow, everyone's ill and re wants some regard, except me. I see a tombstone by the side of the road. Would you like to stop and investigate? Hell yeah. Our beloved Snowball ate the best of us. You should stay in your grave, Snowball. Okay, phone awakened vultures has led you to food. Found one medkit in an abandoned car. Oh, lovely. So we're going to need to rest a little bit for all these people that are sick. Found an abandoned car, but nothing was to be scavenged. Okay, jobs are not good. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want tinted windows. Hey, Mario, thank you for the sub. Uh, let me see. They only got food. Okay, one other battery for 13 of your dollars. Eh, that's actually not a bad idea. Especially because we're basically loaded on money. At this point, you know, anything money related just doesn't matter. But any getting in more scraps and food is definitely a good idea. <laughs> Especially if we opt to just sell it all off. Uh, yeah, a zombie bite will make you lose health a lot faster. And you also just, you don't heal as much when you rest. It doesn't, it, it doesn't uh, kill them or otherwise make them turn until they actually get to zero health. So it's a little more merciful than most zombie games. Uh, just because of that. Oh, hey, I showed him in the hands while he was waving. Okay. Get... Get rest and... Okay, Yikes no longer has cholera. Tina no longer has dysentery. And everyone's looking good. Fix our car and then get back on the road. Uh, if they become a zombie, I think you have to put them down. But I think they also infect another person in your party before you put them down. So that's why the option to kill... Like, to kill someone is there. Because so we can... Oh, the, the Desert Motel. It's a way to be preemptive. Of course, you don't have to kill anyone that's actually infected. You can just kill your party member. Don't notice the speed bump. Everyone hits their head as you fly over it. Because I drive like a maniac. Bandit steals one battery from your car. Hey, hey! Just like that horde of zombies way back at the beginning. 
Puppy sits too late. <laughs> what? Puppy sits too hard on twenty-eight dollars and ruins it. How do? You, how does that work? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yes, what a terrible night for a zombie apocalypse. Much like a, what a terrible night to have a curse. I'm sorry, Vil Vinny. I didn't see that at first. I know. I'm wondering. <laughs> How? How did you ruin the $28? Puppy has green flu. Is this because you sat on the $28? <laughs> what the heck? And me and my thunder dies. They're too powerful. <laughs> I, uh, I'm sorry, Vinny. I didn't see that at, at first. Okay, what's the tombstone say? Here lies Philip Graves. He lived up to his name. Discover one battery. Hey, that's where the thief took. Maybe he got to the grave and he was like a ghost all along. He put it at the grave. It's like something interesting is happening off the side of the road. Let's do it. Puppy has found a kitten. Can we keep it? <laughs> okay, as long as you don't ruin that by sitting on it. Wait, 10 ounces of food collected. Did we eat the kitten? Puppy, are you making us eat kittens now? Okay, you stop suddenly to avoid hitting a zombie and everyone gets whiplash. I mean, if you're making us eat kittens, then, you know, this is, like, bad. Puppy, you're leading us down a dark path. Puppy no longer has green flu. I hope we didn't eat the kitten. But at this point, I have... I'm just, like, uncertain. Maybe the cat just collected the 10 ounces of food and that was us feeding it. And giving it lots of petting. Thought a kitten will live on in her heights. I know the kitten's fine. It had a long and happy life. Oh, we're actually pretty low on fuel again. Okay, sorry about that. I had a bit of a coffin fit. <laughs> you love the taste of... No! That's in bad taste. Okay, one other fuel for three of your scrap. Definitely will do that. I can't help but think that the lack of scrap that is now starting to hurt us and the fact that we don't have... We're starting to get lower on scrap for repairing our car. Okay, use a med kit on me. And then again, once we actually get to a town, spend some time cleaning guts out of the car. The road is impassable. Finding a way around takes an hour. At least it's not like Oregon Trail, where we lose like 10 days. The Desert Motel. Oh, all these suicide missions. Oh, faster bullets. Bullets travel 50% faster, don't ask why. And 
there we go. We're getting pretty close to the end. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> we still have a ways to go. Oh yeah, we need to rest for a few hours. Especially if we're gonna scavenge. Plus, we really need Puppy to get their health up. Their zombie bite is definitely not going to help. Hmm. I think we should be fine. Oh, 10 of my ammo for one of their mufflers? Yeah, I'll do that. And probably just wait for trades for a few hours. Because then we could also scavenge. Mm, no. Never want to give up one of our precious med kits. Unless the trade is just like too good to pass up. Okay, 94 of our. No, we don't need food. In a certain sense, we need food, but not really. Credit cards. The one thing that's still good. So yeah, faster bullets is really useful. I'm not sure how a grizzled old man teaches us how to shoot faster bullets, but you know, it's just you don't ask questions. Game, <laughs> take it, these bikers. And they never learn. My back bumper is made of indestructible materials. They can take multiple motorcycles, ram me. I simply laugh at the rim and speed. Yeah, it does, other than the fact that zombie bites don't really hurt, there are ones where they just go off to take a piss and they just disappear. Because I think that happened the first time that I played, that someone just disappeared. Everyone's dehydrated. Broken down cars block the road. Navigating the debris takes an hour. Battery dies on you, but you replace it from supplies. <laughs> you find some real kill. It's probably safe to eat. Ah, uh, that's okay. I'm pretty sure Puppy will make it through just fine. Oh, jeez, two batteries dead. <clears throat> Spark shoot out the back, your muffler's dragging on the road, time to replace it. Oh man, batteries and mufflers just... This road is cursed for car parts. Oh jeez, another battery dead. But at least we found some roadkill. Yikes, has a broken arm. That being said, we should probably stop. Get everyone rested up, healed up, all that kind of jazz. Repair our station wagon.
I don't know, it could be a voodoo curse, it could be that simply that as you get closer to Oregon, things break down as the plot demands. It's one of those things to where, you know, everything gives out and you make it to Oregon on duct tape and prayers. I don't know. She probably broke it very carefully. That being said, we don't have any more batteries. So I really hope that we don't have any more batteries break. Otherwise, this is going to be very unfortunate. That we could really use some, uh, get one of the med kits for one of their batteries. Mm, no, I don't really want to give up a med kit. Unless I'm absolutely desperate. That's a possibility, but that seems like that would be, like, self inflicted. food before it's too late. Fortunately, the game is not like as soon as you kill the boss. Let's end it. I know, it does have some really good music. The game has a lot of really good things going for it. That makes it well worth playing. And when I heard about this game, I just had to play it just because of... I remember Oregon Trail from playing it in elementary school, to where it's all... Anything that spoofs it is gonna be well worth trying out. Oh, shoot. That should be more than enough food. Because that probably gives us about a thousand again. <laughs> yeah. Puppy probably sat on Yikes' arm, it seems. At least that's what I'm going with. Oh, that actually worked good. Double A! Now, if we had just called AAA, we would have been fine. Alright, this one's gonna go very bad. Ah, see, just one A that time. Yeah, we definitely need to get fuel wherever. Oh, we're almost there, Las Vegas. It starts raining heavily, we'll have to drive slow. Alright, we might as well get this, since it's one fuel. I feel like I would just say that all my missed shots are like warning shots, but then again, zombies aren't really good for paying attention to warning shots. Jeez, <laughs> third time's the charm. One fuel is worth it. Okay, what is this one? 
less likely for the battery to die. Okay, no one's willing to trade. Oh, cool, it actually visually shows it upgrading. Yeah, at this point, I guess money is not really much of an issue. It looks like everything is mostly fine. Rest for like two hours and press on. Alright, 459 miles to the mines. Found some wild fruit. Alright, vegan options. I know, the fuel is definitely... At this point, money is just not really an issue. Bandit gra sneaks up on you and grabs Dina. Oh no, not again. There we go. You saved Dina. It does seem that that one's not too bad, as long as you, like... Yikes has a broken leg. Poppy, did you sit on their legs? You're a sharp pup. Looks like your battery exploded. You don't have the supplies to replace it. Try trading for one. Oh, no. <laughs> I haven't bought the uh, upgraded one. One other battery for two of your medkits. I have standards. Okay, one other battery for five of your scraps. See? That is the, uh, that's the thing we're gonna take. 31 of their ammo for one of your fuel? No. We'll rest it off. Hey, welcome, Cloud. We're playing a little or Oregon Trail after playing Oregon Trail as we drive a station wagon through the zombie apocalypse to Oregon. So far, we've got everyone still alive. For now. But two of us have zombie bites. We're just trying to get everything back up. I think we're near in the end. Okay, we can probably push on from there. Ooh, the grave of some unfortunate soul. Of course we're gonna look. Scoop Dawkins, and that's why you don't lick giraffes. Can confirm licking giraffes is not a good idea. Not from experience, mind you, but it just doesn't sound like a good idea. You hear gunfire from nearby buildings. A rumbling sound comes from behind you. Oh, I think it's the zombie deers again. <laughs> That's probably true, Stardust. Maybe they're zombie giraffes, which means that you definitely shouldn't lick them. I don't know why they opt to take the highway. I still don't know how these zombie deer are actually as fast as my car. I, f I feel like it would make more sense if they were coming from the direction that I'm going. Slow down to sneak past the large hood of zombies. Yeah, this is a really fun game, uh, Cloud. Uh, so far, everyone. See the remains of another party before you. Would you like to stop and look? Yes. Karen's Bowlby. Eaten, but not forgotten. Well, we didn't forget to put a gun, uh, bullet in your head. Yeah, of course. It's nice uh, and calm. Ah, jeez. Yeah, we're not taking any of those. Medkit scavengers. 
Medkit scavenge is actually pretty nice. Oh, yeah, I'll buy a battery. Wants three of my scrap for one of their tires. I will take that trade. I don't think we have much more before we hit Oregon. We should definitely be able to get there without too much trouble. Everyone dropped their wallet these days. No, this game is for the PC, uh, it's Cloud. Ooh, yeah, this one's pretty expensive. Okay, we should probably rest for a few hours, let everyone get their health back up, repair the station wagon. Uh, presumably because there's a safe haven in Oregon. Oh, welcome, Tatsuya! Yeah, it does capture the, uh, the old retro vibe of Oregon Trail pretty well, though. at that part where we just don't need to give I don't give a flip about much of anything. Okay, Salt Lake City. We're getting there. We're almost in Utah. The only water you can find is sludge from a runoff drain. You reluctantly drink it. Which is not true? Wait, which part's not true? You almost lose the road, but the GPS guides you back. GPS still being, like, a best bro. Heavy Rebel has rendered your car stuck. Yeah, <laughs> we shouldn't be licking sludge, but we don't have any choice in the zombie apocalypse. Dina breaks a rib. Definitely need to rest up once we get to this place. You hear an explosion in distance. Welcome to Salt Lake City. Oh, yeah, that actually isn't a bad one. Too bad I don't really need it. Oh, yeah, see, the, this is where... We could make lots of money if we had lots of food and such. I know, puppies everything. Breaking everything. But yeah, you wouldn't expect this, there to be a safe haven there, but there actually is. Oh, pushing up roses. Yeah, I think I've seen a few of theirs. It def it's definitely a lot of, uh, I don't think I saw that, their review of it, of this game specifically. But I think I've seen one or two of their things. Alright, beautiful. We don't even need to worry about too much stuff. We're gonna scavenge ones just for funsies. At least once. See? Our choice to scavenge just has money just on the ground. This is like some Mario picking up coins off the ground kind of thing. There's even a second bag of money. I get to feel like a bank robber or something, which is a big sack with a dollar sign painted on it. Uh, because your main character's hit points, don't uh, heal up unless everyone is dead. But the uh, conversely, you don't lose health nearly as much. Okay, 
everyone is good. Miss Cross, a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. Moderate in size, appear to be docile. Break out the guns! Clear a path! Shoot them all! Fought our way through the horde. Alright, to the airbase, 800 miles. Dina gets bored and starts making a really annoying noise. Oh, yeah. Yikes, breaks a rib. <laughs> yeah, lasso half of darkness was interesting. I played it because one fellow asked me to compile the various deaths for it. It definitely had some various curiosities to it. <laughs> the noise was so annoying, it broke the ice rib. Oh no. Grim scenery depresses everyone. Should probably rest. I know, with how many things that have been broken, it's amazing that they just kind of, like, sleep it off. <laughs> oh, that would be, uh, that definitely explains how they broke the rib. Actually getting pretty low on food and, uh, scrap. I don't think it matters too much, because I think we're pretty close to Oregon. I think the airbase is the last thing before uh, we actually reach Oregon. Try to drive through a flooded street. It doesn't work. You hear a shark pop. Looks like your battery exploded. You replace it from supplies. At least we actually have a battery this time, and it's not like three batteries breaking. Suddenly find yourself surrounded by zombies. I'm actually surprised we never got faster reload. As that's definitely the better one of the best perks you can find. I guess we just didn't find the right grizzled old man. You know, now that I think about it, this particular theme reminds me of, I think it was Fester's Quest from the NES. I think some of the underground music is very similar to that one. Firing your car destroyed 11 ammo. Well, at least only the bullets were sacrificed. Question the edibility of some of your food. You toss it to be safe. I mean, we've been finding roadkill. I think our standards have been are pretty low. Some food goes bad. Oh, we're almost to the airbase. And zombie activity is low, so we could do some final scavenging. Yikes, get shot by a stray bullet. Oh hey, that zombies ate my neighbor. A uh, reference. Uh, faster movement. This point doesn't really help. Oh, three bucks. I don't work for that cheap. Yeah, we should definitely do some scavenging. I know, poor yikes. Buy some bullets as well. <laughs> I know. Yikes is the injury magnet. They've gotten everything but zombie bites at this point. We 
we should be good on food now. But we'll scavenge once more, just to be certain. I'm trying not to jinx it. Oh, beautiful duct tape. If there's anything that can prevent Yikes from getting more broken ribs and everything, it's duct tape. Way too expensive. No way am I paying 50 bucks for fuel. Yeah, you just gotta duct tape their uh, broken bones together, and everything will be fine. Good enough. Okay, no one's willing to trade. So let's get out of here. Ah, 450 miles to safe haven. We're almost there. Notice something going on a ways off from the road? Will you get out to look? Of course I will. Approach a lively looking building. Out at the front is a band of survivors who look particularly healthy considering the circumstances. One of them rises from the stew he was tending to come out and greet you. Hello there, friend. It's good to see such a fine-looking bunch of folks out in this neck of the woods. I wonder if it's because they've resorted to cannibalism. Okay, you uh, send your hand to the stranger and shake his. My name is Adolf Fastnack. It is nice to meet you. As you can see, we are fairly abundant in supplies around here. We would be happy to trade with you should you need anything in particular. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, trade Dina! <laughs> that sounds great. Only thing is, we don't really need any of your supplies, per se. You see, the only thing of real value to us is human bodies. Good hard working bodies. Is I and Dina up and down. We will make sure it's worth your while. Oh no. We are, uh. We are, uh, going to... We are gonna take them out. We're at, like, a cleansing fire at this point. Got it right. I think it, they resort in the cannibalism. As you drop the last one of the strangers, one of them sets the place on fire. You run in to grab supplies, but only find one muffler. Aw, oh, jeez. Oh my goodness. They decide to go for arson. Yikes talks about a time before all this started. Everyone is somber. I know, yikes, uh, Dina has gotten, like, grabbed by bandits twice. Oh, we don't have a battery. Okay. There we go. And now we can continue on our merry way. My goodness. Yikes, says cholera. Try to drive through a flooded street, it doesn't work. <laughs> it could be both time. So then, to sneak past the large horde of zombies. Hmm. 
It just could be like, remember the time I broke every bone in my body? But then maybe we say like, is that before the uh, zombie apocalypse or after? See something going on in the distance. Okay, you walk into a restaurant and see a bald, round-faced man in a chef's outfit eagerly work in the kitchen. Ah, customers, have come in, come in. Have a seat, please. Try my latest masterpiece. You sit down and have a bite of the interesting pile on your plate. It's awful. How is it, he asked nervously. You can tell this man is at his wit's end. This is probably all he has left anymore. You tell him the truth. As your words fall on his ears, you think you can see the exact moments his brain snaps. He jumps over the table and starts pummeling you before running off, crying hysterically. Ha! I think... I mean, you really shouldn't be selling bad food. A thief stole three strap from your car. Yikes, no longer is cholera. Safe Haven. Hey there, welcome to Safe Haven. I'd let you in, but our power grid is down for maintenance. You need to power the bridge if you want to get in. There should be an old gas generator and some fuel lying around here. Go gather it up and hurry. Looks like there's a horde heading this way. Okay, gather fuel, bring it back. You can carry two at a time. Your party will replace you if you fall. They will also provide cover and fire from the station wagon. Oh, we're playing as yikes. Oh, hey. Yikes has broken everything, but they're able to walk, finally. Oh, the fact that my aim is terrible. So just gather all the gas. I don't know why they decided to keep all the gas out here Rather than say keep it in a uh, shed by their generator But I guess there's no I guess we shouldn't question it too much Of course I point out this puts safe haven in a little bit of a negative light if they drop the ball this much She's still got teeth. I'm pretty sure she's using her teeth to uh, pull the trigger. All right, just one final trip. Yeah, we're power walking. Sometimes you just gotta have a pleasant stroll. You know, we, we drove all the way here, so now we just gotta stretch our legs. last gas canisters. And we can finally... Finally make our way into presumed safety. Not necessarily real safety. But it could be like safety with quotation marks. Start the generator and enter safe haven. All right. Nice. Our 12,000 points. We did it. 
Oh, there's not much of an ending, I guess, but we made it to Oregon safely. All of us. <laughs> All right, so that is Oregon Trail. I think some of the expansions add more stuff in. I've never actually tried them. So we're going to play the third game of Terror Bane and see how that one goes. But yeah, Oregon Trail is a lot of fun if you ever get the um, opportunity to uh, play it. Especially if you have fun memories of Oregon Trail, as I do. Right, let's get Terror Bane going. We'll probably go for at least 30 minutes in this. I did want to play a little more of it tonight, but I think it's getting a little later than expected. I didn't expect Oregon Trail to take so long. <laughs> this one has more of a uh, goofy kind of uh, aspect to it. I know, we managed to get people uh, there safely. Damn this stupid code, it never knows what I tell it to. Yeah, maybe if I change the algorithm I can... And you? When did you get here? <laughs> oh, you're a new player. Uh, good, good, do come in. I was waiting for you. What did you say? Oh no, don't worry about the blue screen, it's just a temporary setback. It's decorative. Oh, have a great night, uh, Farouk. Thanks for stopping by and enjoy Dark Souls. Oh yeah, totally. He said Hockey Manager after Terror Bane. Nothing to do with a totally <laughs> playable game you're about to experience. In fact, we could even call it the best game ever made. It sounds very legit. I should know. I programmed it myself. So, naturally, you're going to play it for me. And why wouldn't you? It's perfection at its finest. Here, I'll show you how we're going to do this. Press this button. This is a nice little piece of paper over which you can write everything you like about the game. Use it and keep record of your very own adventure. There's a section at the end for any bugs and glitches you may find, but I don't think it'll be of much use to you. <laughs> well, are you gonna stare at it all day? Press that button again to put it away. There. Now, don't let me keep you from beginning your journey for good. After all, perfection needs to be experienced. <laughs> Just wait a moment while I, uh, fix this blue screen. How did I... Uh, I probably have to... Uh, it's not work. <laughs> this fellow seems like a very legit person. Best game ever? You wish. I use this paper as a bug list to write down all errors I encounter. If I find enough bugs in each section, I can complete my objectives. When I've completed all of them, I'll show this list to the developer. We'll see if he can still brag. Faced with proof his game is all broken. Ah, oh, yeah, see, this is. <laughs> this is definitely looking good. The scroll. Press X to skip. At the beginning, only the eternal light existed. From this light, Ariel was born. Goddess of all that was good and righteous. I know this one's a lot of fun. I played about 30 minutes of it earlier this week, and it definitely made me chuckle quite a bit. Unbeknownst to Ariel. However, a great evil Archdemon Zonder was also given form. Oh, it's like staying in the shadows and everything, all mysterious like. Rising from the residual shadows of the Dark Realm. Zanvir envied the beauty of Ariel and sent his army of winged demons to destroy her. When Ariel saw this army of darkness, she wept tears of sorrow. I don't know, when you send an army to destroy you, I don't feel like crying is going to be your best choice. One of these tears streamed down her heavenly cheek, dropping in the molten energies of primal creation originated by Bork the Undying. It was so that Bork, moved by the compassion of Ariel, took to the skies and, swinging his mighty hammer, forged the ever steel of eternity 
a material so great and mighty it could cleave all creation in half. He then gave the other steel to a faithful servant, Leo Ryan, the winged beast of the blazing sun. Oh, see, he's got a sunflower. He can deal with zombies. Leo... Leorian, just as his mistress prophesied, began his voyage among the stars to deliver the Eversteel to the hero of legend who could save the goddess. You know, I feel like that the Archdemon probably killed her while this is all going on, but he was prideful and decided to rest in the skies of the small world Terra. One of Zonder's lieutenants, Dreadlord Ku Kuborg, got the Pale Moon sword through the shadows and stole the Eversteel from him. While he rest rested, swiftly escaped, hiding where the light couldn't follow the dark side of Terra. Terra. <laughs> Ah, you should probably actually keep up with the narration. Hey, kitty! Driven mad and filled with horror, he searched for the legendary blade, but could not find it. He be so began to encircle the earth in great leaps, desperate to find his treasure. But Kuborg was nimble and he escaped the sun's vengeance. It was so that, under the light of its moon and sun, the land prospered and man knew of its first realms. In the shadows of the kingdom of man, a new light was about to be born, a hero that would change the destiny of this universe forever. It was the dawn. Of the Terror Bane. Well, at least I know how to pose dramatically on cliffs. Yeah, see? <laughs> Bug lock unlocked. Epic patience. Long and boring intro zero, storm player one. Oh, beautiful. I'm here. Ooh, plot twist. But is it a good plot twist? After patiently reading the initial intro scroll, I found myself a bit misplaced. Ooh. Pillars found just before entering Zonder's storm room weren't that bad at all. In fact, you could say they were quite passable. Kitty! That's true. Oh, I wonder where it leads. Ooh, deja vu. Exploring the unknown usually makes for interesting discoveries. In this game, it just means rediscovering the room you just left. Oh, no. That'll take me to the uh, same room. I'm gonna take your crystals. This crystal looks vaguely familiar. Haha! <laughs> Sneak attack! <laughs> and so we meet at last, oh chosen by the goddess. Your journey has been long, but finally, I've drawn you here within my dark realm. So let us have at it. It shall be a fitting contest. Come, face your nemesis, Zondor, the Tyrant of Darkness. Kitty! Hey, come up here. Your life ends here. This time I shall triumph and drown this world in darkness. Oh, we can see. Nice! Long, unnecessary summons. At least it does look pretty cool. Ah. This is not even my final form. Look you demise straight in the eyes, little soul. Eh, I'll just use it again. Come on, keep hitting the world. Arg, damn you! Your power is great, but this is only the beginning. <laughs> you haven't even changed at all, young child. Don't you recognize me? I am your father. Join me and together we can rule this kingdom. <laughs> Final forms. Oh, paternal form. Zander has an incredible superpower zone, the gift of cliche. How many more of these forms could the developer pull off? One of Zander's final forms, and he thought Thanksgiving dinners were awkward. 
Sorry, pups. I prefer to be an orphan. No, my power fades. But this is not the end yet. Your senses fool you. Despair in knowing that. I am not Zonder. I am your dark side. Don't stare, or I'll look into you. What are you doing here? This is the game's ending scene. I was speed running. I go to the toilet for just one minute and you already mess up my storyline? Hey, would you mind? I'm working here. Do you have any idea of what it takes for a poor developer oh, you have a great night, Spongy. to come up with this kind of groundbreaking plot twists? <laughs> There's just no use with you. I bet you even skipped the scroll introduction. I... Uh, I didn't. It's impatient players like you. They're ruining this business for everyone, you know? No, seriously, this was my big moment. You can't just interrupt me like that. But still, it's better if I take you to the beginning of the game now. Actually, I don't even like this scene that much. Maybe I'll change it somewhere along the way. <laughs> what? No! I will not relent! I am Sonder the Tyrant of Darkness! I shall defeat the Chosen One and drown this world in dirt! <laughs> ah, mildly irritated. Nice. Oh, okay. We need a name that strikes terror into the heart of all our enemies. We're Bob. <laughs> what? Really? Yes, really. Is this really how you want to be called? Yes. Oh, mighty. That lame name you just invented. <laughs> name that nobody likes. Save the realm. Can you imagine that? I certainly can't. I but can. Don't worry. Thankfully, I had already prepared a great <laughs> name. You're welcome. Dig Fingled. Bob will live again. Hey, you. You are the Terrabane, the chosen by the goddess. King Mustachio summoned you here in Whiskerburg, the capital of the kingdom. The brave Bob will live on. Every hero receives a quest from a royal of some kind. Cross the city gates and follow the road north to find his royal palace. I'll be here warming up my old bones by the fire. Whatever, unless... Wait a sec! I, I don't think I noticed it the first time I played. This is like Dark Souls. Hi, welcome to Whiskerburg. Hi, welcome to Whiskerburg. Hi, welcome to Whiskerburg. Hi, welcome to Whisker. Dialogue input false. Enjoy your stay. Pay no mind to my colleague here. He's not all right in the code. If you get my meaning. <laughs> yes, we are the Bob. Royal Palace. Some years back, the monsters from the Fire Temple were a real problem for the city. Now they all look so depressed about losing their Firestorm. I almost feel pity for the poor buggers. <clears throat> the ruins of the old Temple of Fire lie westward from the city gates. They rest at the foot of Mount Faith, the biggest volcano of the entire region. Ah, this town's boring. We're just gonna leave. I don't need no... The great hero Bob does not need any staking quest from the king. Okay, broken bridges. I'm pretty sure I can swim in armor. A goblin has appeared. Hmm. Uh, wait. 
Goblin is an awfully standard fantasy name for our first monster. Encounter. I know this one's pretty fun. I saw like a demo of it we a long time ago. Names to be flashy and hip to differentiate from the rest. All the important devs out there are going for that vibe nowadays. Wait, so is like the Goblin gonna be wearing sunshades or something? Bob. Bob. Nah, not. Good. See, he's trying to name people Bob. Bob. For Boblin! Yes, yes! Rolls right out of your tongue. That's the one. There, changed it. <laughs> Don't mind me now. Uh, get back to your fight. Wait, I can scan? One hit point? Weak versus everything? Wait, did the scan kill it? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Poor guy, that monster was so weak I defeated him even without fighting. You'll make it there if you can try. Keep on trying. Oh, what is that? Endgame boss has appeared? Uh, Endgame boss uses ma Mega Altered Magic of Doom. Oh, well, this is, a, this is unfortunate. I think I can survive it. I've almost got it. Overkill. <laughs> All right, Dark Souls. Oh, uh, well, would you look at that? This is a player death system I used in an older version. It's like World of Warcraft with Dark Souls. Well, I certainly didn't expect I know, to big be F. fighting him at this level. I even put him up here in the mountains, too. Well, no matter. Just speak with the little angel to be resurrected. Screw you. I'm an angry and vengeful ghost. Bob lives on. I choose to adventure as a ghost. <laughs> I can't go there as a ghost. Maybe I can go haunt the king or something. Ooh, it's strange aeons. Stop! Stop! Stop right there, criminal! <laughs> Who told you you could stroll around the city while being dead? Hey, Don't I did an Ultima it? Online. Whisperberg is programmed for the living! Your presence here has messed up whole file parameters. This nice. place is not for a player's eyes. It's a space where unused programs end up. Ah, damn. All right, listen. What is done is done. I'll find a solution. In the meantime, try to find a way out. And don't mess up anything else. <laughs> I will mess up everything. Deal with it. Oh, we can use hacking powers. Nice! I found the mystical Deadberg. Frightening, yes, but for all the wrong reasons. Curious, someone left this... Uh, left this clearly out of set in command here. At least I hope it is. Wait a minute. I could have taken laser and radar while I was at it. Alright, you have a great night, uh, puppy. Thanks for stopping by. To be fair, I'll probably be stopping in like 20 minutes. Hey, this inn is... Howdy, adventurer. I'm the inn, or at least I was. The developer wasn't all that keen on me greeting everybody. Go figure. The truest sense of the words, Lisa's poor inn seems to be in good spirits, in spite of its solitary confinement. Game over. One. Except for what happens to my sprite whenever I'm KO'd. My doubles don't seem to mind it that much. I think I've seen some of them peck the ground.
Hey, welcome, really. We are just having some good fun. With a... Oh, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. We found a peculiar script. I've seen this room before. I'm feeling that in this game. It's turning rather familiar. At least we learned hacking skills. We've been uh, just playing a variety of different games. Oh, yeah, we'll just use Taco Tuesday. Some legends tell of a hallowed place where all music in the land is gathered and preserved. It's kind of a dump, really. Alright. I'll just put it as a boss battle. Yeah, this one's called Terror Bane. Of which we have a variety of glitches and unfortunate stuff. Air Elemental Stone is too heavy. So close. And yet, so far. And yet so broken, the stone can't be lifted. It's just a diabolical tease. No use in trying. I feel that we could make this work. One of these days. Ooh, the void. Hey, what are you even doing? I remember specifically telling you to find a way out, not inside the palace. Bob plays by his own rules. You got in without following the elemental stone's quest, and the royal palace hasn't even been loaded yet. The game spawned you in an empty room because it didn't know where else to put you. <sighs> Listen, I've got another idea. You were the one who broke the game, so you're going to put it back together. Yes. I don't even have any do duct tape. Want, anyway, I'll just leave my map editor software here, so you can remake the palace however you desire, and show me just how <laughs> good you are. Oh yeah, th this is that's definitely uh. We're gonna do. Ooh, there's a fourth option. Do the fourth option. <laughs> the pounds. Oh, by the goddess, look at this most conspicuous furnishing choice. I must remember to fire the royal decorator. And who are you? Bob? Oh, you're the Terrabane. Salutations, O oh chosen one. I'd really like to bestow you your main quest, but. With all this hustle and bustle, I couldn't manage to retrieve it from the royal library. I've only got this tiny piece with me. Here, take it with you, and go look for the rest. I have gotten Prophecy 1. One of one better names than Bob. Fantastic Sunflowers, and where to find them. <laughs> yeah, probably. How to ignore bugs and be happy. I learned to stop worrying and love the bugs. Hammerpedia, a comprehensive guide. Okay, when the moon shines bright up in the sky, the darkness descends upon the kingdom of man. While in the sun's wake from the east, the chosen shall come. So it's probably like up, down, right? I think this is where I got to. Up. Damn, even as a torch I feel out of place. Although I'd rather like this lukewarm heat on my head. And then I think to the right. Aha! Prophecy 2! And then I think this is where I stopped. Last time. Oh, Mana Potion restores MP to full, duh. Cool beverage, a refreshing and tasty beverage. Hey, they forgot the little umbrella. 
Oh no, why do you have a why do you have a text a wall of text? Uh, let's see. Okay, which one does it say? Left high higher. So I'm guessing left up up right. I know, it does have that kind of Super Mario RPG vibe. I haven't played that in so long. Okay, right up, down, up, left, down. Okay, right up, down, up. Up. You know, I don't think I remember this puzzle. It's strange. I usually have great memory when it comes to my own designs. Ah, uh, well. I oh, I'm sure. Some kind of hint on how to solve this one somewhere. Usually text or some kind of menu. Go figure it out. Okay, so right. Up. Down. Up. Oh, maybe it's another one. Maybe after I leave, then it's right. And then up. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Bandasonic. Hopefully they can be fixed. And then from there, probably left down. Aha! Aha! Welcome to my domain. What? You didn't expect to meet me inside my own game? Oh, now we can punch him. This is just an in-game avatar. It can still be therapeutic to rough him up. The room, however, is a virtual replica of the real place where I work all day. I'd like to show you my <laughs> old <laughs> accomplishments myself. Uh, I like how it just keeps covering his face. And I wouldn't miss an opportunity to wear my favorite sombrero. <laughs> Take the go. Deception. Yo, dog. we heard you like devs, so we put some devs game in, in your dev game, so you can dev like a game. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds pretty fixable. Well, I've been here for almost seven minutes straight, so I think I've worked enough. Time to raid. Best floral arrangement. Best Deaths Award. Uh, killer App of the Year, Terrabane. The Rough Draft of an Autobiography. Okay, so then we should probably... Well, it's up, down, right from there. And then from there, that got us to Prophecy 2. Okay, left. And then up twice? Because I assume the high higher would be two ups. Aha! Hey, hey, come back here. There we go. <laughs> Stop being tricky. Uh, so armed with the blade, just as it was bade, all of evil shall die, and the good is be fine. God us be fine. And once justice is found, we shall all take a bow. Well, unless you press play, I said it will all be remade. Okay, like read it again from the top. Oh, I certainly hope this is not another one. Here you are, most gracious chosen soul. Thanks to your efforts, the prophecy is complete. Now I'm sure you've already read the text yourself. I skimmed it, thus I won't bore you with reciting uh, you its wise words again. 
However, you must set out immediately to find and claim the Eversteel of Eternity. Only with its powers can you hope to triumph over the evil forces of Archdemon Zondor. But don't worry, for we have three expert trainers in town. They shall prepare you for your journey. Come forth, master adventurers! Oh, they were just hiding in the wall the entire time? <laughs> Dang it! Uh-oh. This is not a good sign. This is most unfortunate. All right, you have a great night, uh, Bandasonic. Thanks for stopping by. Hi, <laughs> Bob. Let's see what this brings us. They like to cause lots of problems. Wait, which was the Cuphead reference? I didn't... I wasn't... I must have missed it. <laughs> oh no. Ass driver's not found. Error occurred while displaying the previous error. Generic error. Come on, I can throw it in the recycling bin. Warning, the save game state and sentence are corrupted. Do you want to run the wizard to recover lost data? Do it. <laughs> oh, God. Hello there! Welcome to the world of Terrorbane! My name is Conundrum. People call me the Game Wizard. This world is inhabited by creatures called bugs. For some people, bugs are friends. Others try to correct them. As for myself, patching up after a bug happens is my profession. Oh yeah, I played Super Mario RPG a long time ago, Aurelia. But I do remember it pretty fondly. I think my favorites were more like Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI way back in the day, but... Yeah, Super Mario RPG had a lot of fun to it. Especially once you got the lazy shell and put it on the princess, so she was basically uh, invincible. Uh, this one's called Terror Bane, uh, Grim. <clears throat> the game is a little bit buggy, with lots of fourth wall breaks. Alright, let's start patching up your data. My database tells me your name is... Bob. But tell me, is your character a boy or a girl? Good. Now let's go over some relevant plot points you should have already seen in the game. During the great battle between the Three Kingdoms Alliance and Zonda's Army of Darkness. What epic artifact did you acquire? Ooh, the Inkwell of Destiny. Or the Jade Monkey. The pen is mightier than the sword, so I'll take the Inkwell. Following the epic confrontation during the siege of Belgron's Magic Academy. Which companion heroically sacrificed himself to cover your retreat? Villager Maggie. Oh, the Bear Crate! Its sacrifice is always going to be remembered. Which ending do you like the most? <laughs> oh, it's this Mass Effect 3. <laughs> uh, I l we'll go with, um, go with green. Excellent, I'm done. Now you're ready to proceed with the game right where you left off. I'm pretty sure that's the Mass Effect 3 reference. Bon voyage and come see me at my wizard tower if you ever get the chance. Ah, <laughs> rated is the best. Ah, oh, this became a lot grittier. Yeah, ever since our sire, Kuborg, conquered Whiskerberg. Life is a blast. I know, the Pear Crate's sacrifice will never be forgotten. Eh, yeah, no human can oppose us now. Hey you, little one, don't you know that showing your face around here can be dangerous? Right, you could end up meeting us. 
Salamanders want to fight. Ooh, I've got a limit. Zero. What? Zero damage? H who are you? I am Bob. All right, let's see what kind of crazy limit. Oh, we even get a cool dramatic thing like that. Arg, too strong. You do attack my lackeys. I am Keto. I lead this pack and I'm gonna show you who's boss. <laughs> my liege, look, he's using the developer's console. Oh, he's hacking, you coward. You stooped to use the code to win against us. The developer is out for good, so no one can stop me now. Quit hacking, bro. Let's see who's the real tough boy between us. Data Mancy. There's a will, there's a way. Oh. Keto attacks. Uh oh. <laughs> Game over. Exploit detected. Priest resolution. Oh, I probably have to. Oh. I'm trying to see where I need to actually make the attack. I know it's a single play single player thing. Oh, I have to spam it. <laughs> no. Slot machine. Oh. Okay, stand up. Oh, you're not even hitting for like a thousand each. Error fixed. New privileges set. Player, new admin. Moving up in the world. The Kaizo seems to have taken a liking to you, my liege. If other monsters plan to cheat, it surely might come in handy. Haha. <laughs> Oh, third time was a charm, I guess. Yeah, I, I thought it was maybe like press it at the right time, but it was spam it. By the goddess's light, everything we knew has changed. A foul malady has taken over this land and its inhabitants. They need guidance. We need a really cool cleanup montage. Like now, they need you, my liege, the terror bane. We must find the Eversteel Dreadlord Kuborg has stolen. We shall defeat him and his dark master Zondor to restore peace to these troubled lands. Uh, Leo Ryan joins the party. Hey, you're supposed to you're supposed to be dead. Are you dreaming about food? Too powerful. Too strong. We can take this wrecked car. Well maybe not. The cliff. It's like Final Fantasy VII ish. Just walking across a bridge. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Temporary acid has appeared. Everybody's blessed. We're trying to cheat. Temporary asset. Error solved. One. Errors generated. 213. Mr. Terrabane, I've got a bad feeling about this console and its reckless use. As you can see, every time we win a fight, something goes amiss in the code. Should we win too many times, we may end up in a place we might not be able to come back from. Uh. 
Hey, this has grass and everything. Oh, the Pear Crate Memorial! Ah, what beauty. Even in these troubling times, one can find peace and respite in havens such as these. My liege, we shouldn't disturb such serenity. Let us be about our quest. I need to shed a tear for the Pear Crate. Um, that was the bad guys that did that. That wasn't me. <laughs> oh no! Oh, pears. I'm sorry, pears. You were too innocent for this world. I, uh, this was definitely the bad guys. It wasn't me. The tree's catching fire. <laughs> oh, that's even better. Oh, he just leaves the party. Okay. We need to go around that. I don't know why the bad guys decided to mess that up. Did you know, many consider the error that appears when you interact with the Vault 404 door to be all but a trifle. It feels too great an opportunity to pass up, at least from a player's perspective. Lester's resistance is open to anyone because they believe that the right man in the right place can make a difference. They often make it more than crystal clear. The developer's console has many great powers, only an expert should use it. You could cause one too many errors and end up losing some important data. Oh no. Experimental features. Take one of these experimental functions. Usually give them away to those who visit. Alright, we got VR. Why did it pair for me? No, no. Could not detect a compatible headset. A hard word produced after 1989 is not compatible. Still not a don't worry, this whole VR thing is just a fad anyways. This is good times. My defense, he jinxed it. Besides, this whole scene must have been precariously teetering on the brink of code hell if all it took was to break through it was a stroll through it. So real, there's no actual difference. Why would anyone... wait. Oh, jeez. Why would anyone go to the trouble of imp implementing random stuff like this anyways? Focus, developer! Focus! Oh, maybe we can actually, like, go down here. Unruly! <laughs> oh, I see. Good times. At least that only hurts them instead of us. I feel like a giant hammer. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> We're causing so many errors. Would probably mess up a lot more stuff. Alright, garage. That seems like a legit place to go to. Oh, come on. Oh, I see. I just have to dodge. L to dodge. Hey, it's you, Bob. Do you remember me? I couldn't call you with your real name before. But now the dev can't hear us, right? Lester can be a bit grumpy, but he's a true patriot. Oh, yeah. If you're in trouble, you can always come up with a plan to help you. Hi. Don't mind me. I'm just a barrel. I 
does have like uh, the feel like the Chrono Trigger, the future blood. Dina says you're going to the moon. Wow, how are you going to breathe? Very carefully. What? You didn't think of that? You heroes are really impulsive people, aren't you? Dana built this junkyard after a sudden car craze shook the whole realm a few months back. We built so many of them, they're pretty much all over the place. What can I say? Whiskerbergians have a lot of free time on their hands. That being said, give me the car. Oh, come on. I need, like, a cool ride. I will break in at some point. Hey, there's like a vault. And hey, there's an end boss. It has a beard now. Oh, slot machine. There it is. <laughs> How many more errors have we? Ah, oh, 750 dying. Oh, we got a cutscene. Hey, how many times do I have to tell you, you blockhead? Your plan won't work. Calm down, this. Try to think about it. I can't give you what you're asking me. This place is our base of operations. Hey, James, thank you for the sub. Oh yeah, we gotta have it like sticking out like all cool like. Just for uh, differences. Hiding that bucket of bolts won't help. You gotta take the fight to Kuburg. His castle is up on the moon. How are you even gonna get up there? Flying? If only you'd listen to me. No deal, my lass. The resistance needs this vault. And if you're not with us, then I can't help you. Hey, it's you, Bob. What? There's no dev around to tell me how I should call my chosen, is there? You're the real deal. A player. You'll help me, right? And like that smarty pants Lester. Come see me at my junkyard when you've got the time. I was just there. <sighs> I've got a plan to help you get the, to the Eversteel of Eternity. Ah, brat. Trying to get into my vault like it's nothing. Eh? Terrabane, it's you, in the flesh. Pleasure to see you again, lad. I almost thought you were game over. Fortunately, I can save. Old Whiskerberg ain't how it used to be at the beginning of the game, huh? Don't worry, we're organizing a resistance to take back our city. But that damn magic wall Kuberg con conjured up has us in a bind. If only we could find a way to disable it, we could bring the fight to Whiskerberg. What was the developer thinking, given that wall to the bad guys? Sorry, but no trespassing here. Lester's orders. But, if I kill Lester, then I think I get to inherit his position. Ooh, I wonder if this means I can... Oh, I can't go over there to get killed by that again. Ooh, the cliff. Oh, sorry, Chosen Bob. In this moment in the story, I can't give you any hints. Only Conundrum the Wizard can. But since you've managed to find me, I shall thank you with a wondrous artifact. You see, the Eye of Chaos has been in my family for generations. It's a truly unique item. You won't see another one like it in this world or the next. Take it, and don't lose it. There's simply no replacement for such a rare item. Oh, nice. Found the Eye of Chaos. Oh, maybe we can go down here. And go rough up this group of people over here. Ultra Chicken! Oh, that's not the right one. Ultra Chicken Attacks! Okay, we probably have to pick something different that... 
I saw that most of them are like bad things for us. Ugh, so bored. This game sucks. I'm only 78 hours in, but it's showing already. Yeah, this game is old news. What's with the turn-based gameplay? It's just so 90s. I want to play something new. Oh, oh, let's play that royal thing everybody loves. Right, we'll call it Terror Night and have it... And it'll have buildables and bazookas. I want to play as a bush. You can. Come, I'll tell you all about it. Waiting for players. Player number 32 connected. Battle bug launching in one second. Good times. Well, there's our Fortnite reference, I, I suspect. Oh no, they're back. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, we've made so many errors. My liege, are you sure it's safe to use this developer's console? We're not developers. We don't know what we are really doing to the code. It's not like I get the option to run. Here comes my prince. Perfect place for a date, huh? Seriously, I know Lester likes to talk about patriotism and the good fight, but... Our true goal is up there on the moon, in that big bad castle Kuborg's got. You need to get there, so we use this big boy back here. Yeah, right, an airship! I'ma send you flying all the way up to take back that legendary sword of yours. So you can save the day, or whatever you player types do. But to make this rusty heap airworthy again, we'll need some spares. Good spares. The kind of parts the dev must have used to build that hyper-advanced vault. We've gotta find a way to get inside. Once I'm in, I'll tell you what we need. Yeah, just gotta break everything. Beautiful. Network bridge. <laughs> Aha! Bridging the gap. Hey, you're a genius. I would never have thought of using that error the way you did. Looky here. We hit the jackpot. Just like I thought. Here is the main lab. All vaults have one of these. Here I've got all the tools I need to work on the airship engine. I got an idea. Normally I shouldn't give this to you, but here's my hook. Nice. This hook is one of my combat abilities, but I've been using it for many other things. To use it, press the G button to chain and pull various items. It'll come in handy. <sighs> come on, let's see if we can find a good engine for our flying machine. Dana joins the party. Oh goodness, we got a Metroid. I just gotta use my hook hand. The reactor is this way. Oh. Wow, this is awesome. A mega ultra laser. Seems a bit unstable though. Yeah, better leave it alone. I couldn't use it to repair the engine anyway. Ah, this is... No, come on, I gotta be able to push the button. Miss Dana, this seems to be an an animagic accelerator. Hey, Rover is right. This is just what I was looking for. L Lirion, Miss Dana, my name is Lirion. Whatever. This is just perfect. Can you pull it to the laboratory? 
<laughs> hey, what are you doing? Laboratory is the other way around. I believe that door can be opened with some kind of color-coded key. Bah! We can't open it. It's not what we're looking for. Just leave it. Don't mind me, just pulling everything along. Awesome. Just leave it there. Let me have a look. The PS6, this accelerator is spent. Perhaps if we had some fuel? Poochie's right. Without fuel, this sparkly boy won't be able to help us much. Um, Lee Ryan, Miss Dana. I believe I'm rather a uh, rather notorious divine being. Yeah. I think I've seen the word reactor written somewhere in the other room. A place like that should have plenty of fuel we can use. Let's head back. Wow, just gotta pick up more things. Just yank it right out. Uh-oh. Now you're lost. Oh boy, it seems the sections of the map are randomly connected. I don't know where I might end up next, so no option left but to trust my player instinct. Did my eyes see me, or was this wall not present before? Strange. I don't remember it either. Well, not much to do but go back, huh? Lies. Because now it's going to spread. Hey, where's the laboratory? As I feared, we shouldn't have entered this vault in the first place. Uh, why? This place would normally be reachable by players or NPCs. The developer might not have bothered connecting all playable areas logically. Um, this could be a major problem, but that's why we have our player here. Bob always finds the way to push forward, right? Come on, the lab can't be that far. Lead the way and we'll follow. I know, we've been definitely fooled. Haha! -ha! But we have switches. And as a player, we can always... We can always find switches and key cards. Ah. And it has to be down there. That's right, if you won't, if you won't pull, be pulled to the right, I'll just yank you right out and pull you right. Oh, hey. Strange. Doors like this one are usually opened by some mechanism. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to move it there. I fear that mound of blue keys was probably intended to open these doors. So much for blue, I guess. If only the store was another color. Oh, jeez. We've been definitely fooled. I suspect that I have to somehow change the color. Unless I find a blue keycard. Yeah, this seems logical. Finally, now that the dev is out for good, I can do whatever I want! What? 
I like being a banter NPC. Oh no, it still connects. The reactor is somewhere. Oh, we're back there. We have an excellent design choice. So yeah, we're missing something. Middly, it's about like it's well past midnight here. I wouldn't be surprised if we're missing something like in one of these areas. But I think this is probably a good stopping point because I'm starting to get pretty tired. I definitely can tell that I'm not fully focused on puzzle-ish kind of stuff. So nonetheless, this is Terror Bane. I probably will continue this at some point. I'm not sure if I'll continue this on Wednesday or not, or if I'll pick something else, but this one's a good bit of fun. I love the goofy kind of fourth wall breaks and all the spoofs of various games. So nonetheless, uh, that's going to be it for tonight. And then we'll do Room Rando Chaos stuff tomorrow, and then... Yeah, it looks... It definitely looks like a good bit of fun. I love the... Yeah, the, well, thank you, uh, Iceberg. And then uh, Sunday we'll be doing Stardew Valley uh, multiplayer again, and having fun with that. So nonetheless, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you guys next time.